Like, I feel like I want a, like a three screen setup, but mm -hmm. it's at the same time, like, it seems like a lot depending on the size of the monitors. And I like, I mean, it is. So like I, like, I have this monitor up here, which if you guys ever catch me during stream looking up, it's because my, my third monitor is above my, my, my head. Right. So, yeah. but that's exact. that's essentially where I'll like for right now, chat's in front of my face. Cause we're just talking, right. Um, yeah. When I move into like doing gaming and shit, I move my OBS to that screen. So anytime I need to look at chat, I look up. And then I have your stream. So like if we're co-streaming, I have you yeah. guys to my left. So then I'll I always peek at your chats every now and again. So if you see, <laughs> if you're getting the behind the scenes, okay, of what Brew does during stream, okay. <laughs> if I look that way, I'm either looking at Discord, which is what I'm looking at right now, because it's the only thing it's the only thing up because none of you guys are streaming. But if I have mm -hmm. one of your streams up, like yesterday I had both Nemo, Nemo was on the top part of my screen and, and Tony was on the bottom and I have your chats. So I could be like, you know, well, I have mods for both of you. So if somebody decides to come in here and act stupid, like, ah, mod, mod button, fuck you. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but I'm like, I love that look of just having the two, we're talking about, um, uh, what's it called? Up updating setups. or updating our setups, right? Cause brew constantly wants to update her shit i'm trying to get uh -huh. to for anybody who's in the discord nia put this very mi minimalistic like look for a setup and that's what i'm like slowly working towards um right now i mean i have this extension here because this is also my workspace as far as like um so my cricket is here which you guys i don't know i'll, I'll, I'll turn my camera hold on 
<laughs> so there's my cricket. So I have all of my um my cricket stuff that I if anybody wants me to make them something, let me know. <laughs> Because I have this. Also, my other desk is... I really just want to have, like, one room wherever I move, like, to next. Uh, where I can put all of my, like, streaming, arts, sewing stuff. My sewing station is on the other side of my room, which you guys can't see. Because I'm not turning my camera all the way over there. Because it's kind of a mess. So, <laughs> y'all not going to see my messy-ass room. But what's up, messy? Hmm. It's just my, my sewing station is kind of messy because I'm in the middle of three different projects that I have yet to finish. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, yeah, like... But I'm like, if I find... If if Amazon sells my current gaming monitor for Prime Day next week, I'm going to buy that bitch. Is my wallet going to hate me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's going to be okay. You know, I don't know what I would do with these two monitors. Um... I'd probably still keep the, the my Discord one because it's become very helpful at times. Yeah. Of not having to have Discord take up a whole screen or whatever. But mm. I do find it's... it really annoying to have to constantly keep looking above my face. It was a nice thought, and would I be upset because I bought a whole like um, monitor stand for it and everything? Yeah, but. Mm. We'll have a stream That's... hobby room, yeah. Stream I mean, like, hobby room. Like I know there was another setup that I had cool. set up, I had put in the Discord like once, and I like the lighting of it because like I don't really like um to have like I like natural lighting, but at the same time I'd like to have my room dark. Yeah. So I like the the feeling of like. Yeah, we having, know. Like, I've been sitting there like. Bro, I, I, I was kind of like, yo, I wonder if I should tell Nia that he needs like one solid good spotlight. Like, <laughs> I do, I yo, do, I do. Nia blending into the black, the background sometimes. I'm like, yo, you looking blackity black, black, blackity black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, black, I, black, black, blackity. That's no I, way to shape or form any amount of shade or racism. Okay, I just mean that in total like, <laughs> complete sense. Of, it's that dark in Nia's room. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, when it's yo, late bro, night. Nia's room's in the back. It ain't got no sun. It's got no windows, no nothing. Like, bro. the only window I have is the one that is right next to me. And if it is dark at night, That's I it, literally bro. I have to have, like, I have, to have everything wear, up. Sun wear. <laughs> right, right. It's like you just see one good light. I bought, and that's um, it. All I have is natural lighting coming to my goddamn shit. That's all. I, I got two um, photography lights. Um, Cause I'm also good. If anybody like, you know, wants me to do some, look, I'm just like selling myself off right here. Right. Bro. No, I'm, not <laughs> turning off. I'm depressed. Um, going back to doing my little photographs and shit. Um, but... Ooh, that's a nice camera. Thank you. Mm. It used to be my, my hand cam from back in the day when I had a hand cam. I don't have hand cam no more. So <laughs> if I ever like, don't want to show my face on, on stream anymore, I have keyboard cat. Um, um, it's not currently set up because I have had no need to do that. But um, mm. keyboard cat will be where my face normally is, and you just see me typing and shit. So, <laughs> bring back the hand cam. Wow, wow. Okay, the only reason why hand cam was very annoying is that I have two Canon cameras, right? So there's my Canon camera here. It's Canon Rebel T7. That's a Canon M50. For anybody who cares what DSLRs I have. Um, I use the Canon web utility app to connect my Canon cameras to, um, OBS, uh, which is great because it doesn't require to have a cam link or anything like that. It's a simple, you plug it in and bam, Ca um, what it doesn't have is the ability to connect multiple Canon cameras at the same time. So I could only connect one and it was a, it was a hassle to have like disconnect uh, connect another one, disconnect, put another one up there. It was a lot, okay? Wow, you want to see the inputs for the grenade throws, Nemo? It's the, it, you know yes. what it is? It's F. And I let go F. <laughs> my, uh, oh, you moved it from G to F? Mm -hmm. It's easier for me to hit. Because essentially, my, my keys, my hands are always on WSAD. So if I want to throw a grenade, I just shift one finger over one instead of having to shift over two. It's mm. easier to reach. So I don't have to think about throwing grenades because it's just phew. Yeah. 
Um, F is your melee. I have, oh, we, we talk about Apex inputs. Okay, my melee button is my, oh god, my, my top mouse button. Um, my ultimate is my bottom mouse button. Um, I need to put, I would change that, right? I'm gonna put my, my Q to my, my current ultimate button because I keep hitting tab when I want to hit Q during an Apex match, and it really pisses me off. <laughs> I'm okay. like, yo, why, was, why the fuck? Or when I'm trying to go into my backpack and then I press Q. So if she me throw a fucking grenade, like, randomly, it's because I was trying to open my backpack and I pressed Q instead of tab. So <laughs> I will figure out a different button to... I don't throw my ultimate issues a lot, so I'm just like... Got oh, 12 button brew. mouse and use multiple. Now I've been thinking about that because Razer has the the Razer Pro mouse where you can like swap out the side functionality buttons. I mean I have mm. I have this Razer mouse which is it's it's cute. again the minimalistic cute version so whatever. Um, but I'm like bro them them buttons are small okay they're small. <laughs> mm. uh, what were you saying? Me? Oh, so um, it seems that yesterday, since you missed it, oh lord, um, now everybody's trying to get me in cosplay, and Angel definitely wants to see me in the fucking maid outfit. And I told him the only wow. way this is going to happen, the only way this is going to happen, that I do all these cosplays or anything like that, is that you all get one of the mouses off of my fucking uh, Amazon wish list. That's the only way that's gonna work. Yeah, if y'all want to, you know, buy something off on one of our Amazon wish lists, mine's just a whole bunch of Funko Pops. So, <laughs> you want to feel my Funko Pop obsession? Go right ahead. <laughs> I literally added one from Demon Slayer, like, on that same day, because I was just like, oh, shit, this is nice. Like, yeah, like, literally, if y'all if y'all want me to do it, like, there's a mouse pad, and they just let's find one of the fucking mouses. And then, okay, we, we're, we're going to figure out something for a fucking cosplay. I will say that um, there's another one crossed my my path this morning. And you're gonna judge me for it, but somebody informed me that Peppa Pig is now Funko Pop. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Peppa Pig is now fucking Funko Pop. I did. And um, I said I have to. Like I didn't buy it. It's it's currently sitting in my Amazon cart. So. <laughs> But I have to pay the rest of my bills. But hold on, I'll show you guys. Um, but I was just like, bro, bro, Peppa Pig, are you are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? Like, hold up, where, where is this bitch? Ah, oh, heal. Like, bruh, I'm crying. Look, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> ah, that's precious though, bruh. But what you mean? Why? Okay, yo, Peppa Pig is my so bitch. Why is it so precious? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's Prime Day like pricing too. Yes. Oh God. It was like every nine fifty eight. Yeah, hmm. nine dollars, ten dollars. Um, at, you know what it was? Peppa Pig became my main bitch when she hung up on Sushi <laughs> the Sheep, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> Do you know how to hey, whistle, Susie? I can't whistle. Oh, how do you whistle? <laughs> I'm so Put your lips together and blow. Uh -huh. Like Put this? Put your lips together and blow. Click. Oh, <laughs> I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I was like, yo, bro. Oh, oh yo, Peppa Pig is that bitch, okay? She said, no, fuck <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> and then said, Elmo turned New York in. Right, and bro. <laughs> Pepper was a whole New York bitch just that like, hello? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Click! Why oh, do I no care? He gets a cookie. He's not. <laughs> 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 you, 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 that shit made me cry. <laughs> I was like, yo, bro, I never knew a Nickelodeon, like a, a Nick turd could be so fucking savage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bro, that was fucking funny. Oh, well, Elmo made a great point. Folks, not there. <laughs> why does he? Why does he get a choice of the cookie? I'm dead. 
Bro! Oh my god. Alright, let me move us up here. Shit. Y'all already know what today is. Oh wait, I didn't open dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so Brew, I this is what I had brought up. Oh no, I sent that to you already. Um this was uh, I can find the damn thing. I will say this music is fire. On each tap to hear music. Maybe. Oh, I, I'll turn it up. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, I have to, I have to turn it okay. to you guys anyway. Hold on. So you guys see things in, run, in, in um, real time. Excuse us while we jam out for a second. <laughs> it's time to find love again, but this time we're at camp. God damn it. We're Let out. at camp. Yeah, this is the the Funko Pop I found. And I'm like, I this want should be chaotic. This I mean, you ain't. Who's that? Yes, I have the same one in my Amazon wish list, bro. Same one. Same one. Girl, it glow in the dark, too. Yes, I'm it like, does. Oh, oh, I love yes, it. it fucking does. I love it. I love it. I mean, so it said it doesn't. It doesn't have that many voice effects. Just yes, no. Now you see, it. Th this is fire, right? But I don't know how to connect you guys to it. Like, do you guys need to own this game? I don't know. That's I would the thing. think. I would think you guys need to own the game for like us to actually play this as multi. We can play this as a multiplayer, okay? This is fucking ridiculous. The fact this that we monster can camp online. Is just... How is this game online? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Um. Should have made some food. Oh, they can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me see if I can. Are you guys on? I should be. I was just playing. I think I should. Let me check. Hello? Not my remote play being disabled. The what kind let of me, ratchetness is this? Let me make sure to log in. Just to make sure, too. What do you mean remote play is disabled? No, it should not be. I've played remote play before. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Try it again. And it has four players. I mean, as well, yo, you trying to be the fourth or not? Like, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, it's like, well, I was supposed to be doing work, you know. However, comma. However. Oh, peeps. I hear. It. I can hear him now. What's up, peeps? <laughs> <laughs> invite a friend. So if I try to invite. Well, Nemo just never mind. I was about to say, Nemo just disappeared on me. Hold on. <laughs> Salut. Excuse you. Thank you. I thought it was funny. No oh, play together and I failed because no play is disabled in settings. How are the disabled in settings? Okay. Goes Hold on, y'all. Right yep. Oh, damn. You did the same thing. The same thing. <laughs> well, hey, yo. Easy. Thank you for the lurk. Shift tab? I did shift tab, but it says mine's disabled, which it should not be. Can you remote play settings? <laughs> <coughs> Library share? Yes. Mm. Interesting. Wait, so how would that work on Steam? You guys should be able to see the game as I see it. Hmm. I should allow for multiplayer if I could figure out what my my remote play is not working. Uh, we could do you that. find the on. settings? I found it. Where is it? So you know when you're at your <laughs> library? Yeah, go yeah, go to settings. Go, no no, Steam, the settings. Yeah. Remote play. 
Oh. It was indeed. The fuck? Interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Appreciate you. Let's try this again. Whoa. Steam gameplay between this computer and other devices. To connect, simply log into this same Steam account on another computer or choose other computer on your Steam link. So I invite you guys to see if it works. Ellie, uh, thank you what? so much for oh, shit, the tip. Hey, look at that. Ooh. Well, um, yeah, that's a... Oh, we gotta have a controller. Yeah. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that's that's that was double the sounds. I, yeah. I <laughs> oh, to... I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Now that you guys can see on your computer, I can turn I can turn the stream off. Yeah. I could not do it. <laughs> you like ah 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 ah. My ears, my ears, my ears. Uh, oh shit! I'm like oh shit. And oh, it was shit. like a slight delay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah. I could not do that. Hold on, let me let's get my controller. Oh, Nami, Nami, I can't. It's a share controller. So not one controller for each. It has to be shared. How? I don't know. I don't think you guys actually need a controller. I think it's just, I'm just going to show the game to you. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Or is do, possible? Do. Wait, who's pressing A? Did somebody press A? No. I pressed it once. <laughs> once. One more time that I could have. <laughs> That's exactly. So anytime you guys do a control, it it um <laughs> it will keep going. <laughs> Just gonna move that away from me. <laughs> Damn. I, saw Yo. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I had a feeling. Shit. Let let's back it up. Let's back it up. <laughs> they back back it up. <laughs> What's up, Zora? Hi, Zora. What's good, Joe? What's oh good? Lord, you sleep? <laughs> no, no, you... no. I'm high. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what Around a weed God last damn. night. I'm, I'm Around a weed. weed? Oh no. Oh shit. Let me I'm make Azorio a quick while we're sitting here, right? Let me make Azorio a quick thing while Zorio like maybe gets on. Who knows? Um I gotta make Azorio a quick little uh sprite. Oh. oh, is that like it's just like my logo when we jump up and down? Yeah. It's, kind of <sighs> it's kinda of weird. I hate it. <laughs> I'm dead. All right, we're gonna give us a baseball cap. Azora, um, yeah, what up, what up? How high are you right now? Um, <laughs> <laughs> enough. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> How high are so you? So pretty high. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Azora yes. is a uh, brown skinned. Can we get to brown? Oh lord, can I fucking screwed this up? All right, now Zoro, how uh, from brown to brown? How brown do you say you are? <laughs> mm -hmm. I would say I'm a I'm a uh, <laughs> milk chocolate. I'll give myself milk a chocolate milk chocolate. You're gonna be in you're gonna be in the brown with me anymore. <laughs> All right, bet. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna give Zoro a solid baseball cap. What's your favorite color, Zoro? Put me in blue. Bet. It's a blue out here. But then I did. Monster Prom 3? There is Monster a Monster Pro Prom 2? 3 coming. Yes. Yes. Whenever that comes out, I won't play that bitch. <laughs> hmm. So I'll blame it. Not wow. to have the walk really out of weed. You really out of weed, bro. I'm so depressed for you. If I could, I'd give so, you my weed. Yeah, it's a sad day. If I put weed to you, I would. Yeah, if I could give you my weed. Virtual, the virtual, virtual weed? nug. I'll be fine. Yeah. The virtual nug, I got you. You said pass me the virtual nugs, bro. I'm crying. Pass the e vape. <laughs> Damn. Yo. That was fun. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You guys definitely know how to make my day better. Hey, let go. Flash you too. Friends. Yeah. How many of us Three have of us them? them? That's the original creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! Past last I night. I know. It was really... Yeah. I was shocked. Yeah. 
I was dealing with my shit last night, so I was just up. Bro, last <laughs> night, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Nemo was not feeling it. Not feeling shit. Like... <laughs> Oh, good. I kind of saw it. I was like, let me subscribe to my man's in them. <laughs> hey, it it definitely brought me up for like a couple more games, but then Overwatch killed it. And I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. And well, I don't, what, what is wrong with? Oh, I, I, I understand is like um, Overwatch can be kind of annoying, you know, but still. Here's here's, here's the thing about Overwatch. Everybody kind of got to be like on the same page. It's like yep. yeah, they really got to be on the a same single thing. effort yeah and if everybody is like doing their own thing it falls apart quickly <laughs> yeah uh -huh. it's not like Rogue company or apex or anything like that where you can kind of do your own thing that is a real team based game it's similar well i wouldn't say it's like valorant because you kind of can ace and solo ace in valorant if you're good enough <laughs> Ignore me. It's the model. It's gotta be the model. <laughs> she most likely saw the model. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're looking mad wild over there. <laughs> Marcia, thank you so much for the link. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny as like shit. It. Um, you'll see in a second. Hold mm. on, I'm gonna you right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Hey, what's good, Melly? What's up, Melly? Hi, Melly. Of course, Martian. If I was closer to you, they'd be in person. One day, one day, I will get you um, the the in person hugs. Okay. Yeah, send them, send them e hugs. <laughs> All right. You fucked up. You now fucked you see, up hard. Now you see what happens, right? Is when Zorio's not talking, it's just chill, right? Oh wait, no, I fucked up the second one. Fuck. There we go. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> but what it is, oh, right? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I'm ready to see this. But when he's talking, right? <laughs> I, no, he looks why. like I feel like he's, he's out here just why, yelling why, at me, bro. Why? Why, why I gotta be yelling all the time? You know what? It's appropriate. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, get very enough. animated with your face. I was like, I feel like when you how hide. Zora looks like when he's yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, my God, that is funny as hell. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I'm, I, have oh, my God. Get, I have to have a strong giggle. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I, I, I'll allow it. <laughs> I sent you an invite. Oh, did you? I didn't. I wait. did. Send me a note. There we go. I shall play. Oh, not my internet being wonky. Oh, shit. Is it going to come back? Maybe. Okay, wait. So I can use the controller? I don't know. Um, yes. yes, but we're it's all gonna we're all sharing the one controller, so keep that in mind. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Wait, not me losing internet. Um, there we go. Hello. Oh, now we go. There we go. Are you guys are you good now? Like, yeah, I'm ready. Not I'm you. Here. The, the you internet. might have to my resend. internet's, my internet's being stupid. Yeah, it closed out on me, so you might have to resend. It came back for me, but I'm just wondering what the fuck's going on. Okay, are you gonna even out now? Even out now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was starting out for me for a second, but it's working now. Yeah, it's working now. Okay. I think you have to reinvite me. Uh oh. Yes, I lost. These oh, host yeah, input you. is temporarily disabled while the host right. is Works <laughs> 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 his name, Yado Song. There we go. Okay, Discord, I need you to stop it all the goddamn motherfucker. Alright, peeps, let go. We got four people, let go. We're gonna share a controller, oh lord. Who's gonna be the, the fucking narrator? That's gonna be me, let go. Ah. Camp Spooky, the stage of some of our dearest summers. 
back then, we were young and unafraid. The school was so far away, everything seemed possible. As the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Why are we going to camp, bro? Like, summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? No, me, pull out again. The fuck? Anyway. You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. What a way to say that we're about to get wasted! It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. Now, of course, we gotta go with our main bitch, okay? I Pink. know who I want. <laughs> what do we call her? Flaria? Yeah, Flaria. F L A R I A. I A. Yeah. yeah. Got she's pronouns. The la Hello? Yeah. Yeah, this Ooh. camp Wi Fi sucks. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I don't know what's going on. So I think I like it's it might because be resources. It might be taking more resources yeah, to do. I think that's plan. to have like all of us an extra person in as well. So it might just be better just to just do it a single and just share through this Discord. Okay. Yeah. So that it won't be so intensive because you all are right. streaming Discord and streaming a game through uh, Steam as well. Yo, your bit rate getting bent over right now. <laughs> it's getting fucked in the worst way. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let us let us redo everything. I'm gonna kick all y'all. Bye. Okay, Sorry. thanks. Bye. Hello. Bye. I love I you. Thought cool. we was cool. The fly can't we be we friends? Be friends. Why can't we okay. be You can turn the volume down of all music and games. Let's go. Definitely mm -hmm. turning that down a little bit. So yep. apparently, uh, when I got kicked, um, my settings still popped up, and I clicked music. And apparently, you can turn the volume, the general volume of all games down. Interesting. So like, to nothing. You can. Yeah. All right. I hope that fixes everything. Well. Well. We shall see. I'm not reading this shit again, though. So I'm just going to skip mm -hmm. this. <clears throat> Her name is Red. Well, as like, you guys bro. can tell, uh, Narrator said some things. But, um, Narrator said some things. I already read them. Woo, let's go. Yay. I'm a main bitch. Yeah. Now, I could bring things to camp. Okay, yeah, why man. why do Hopefully. I have the millennium, the millennium, the millennium, <laughs> millennium puzzle? The millennium puzzle out here. Um, got it's a cost pen. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, okay. Um, build your own golem. A blade, blade. A human, a human wool sweater. What the fuck? I'm gonna bring the sword because I need that. Uh huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring yeah, the like really the perfect. Millennium Falcon out here because the Millennium Puzzle. Let go. Um, I feel like build, build a golem. That's what I was thinking, right? Build a golem. Okay, cool. Pink. Let go. One might say that the monster problem has hardened us on the highs and lows of love. God damn, Jesus, bro. But no, in love, we're always absolute beginners. And summer camp is no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of summer love loomed over our heads. Damn. <clears throat> Close to the last day of camp, there, were a, there was a meteor shower, Jesus, <laughs> happening just five weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch the, that, that damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was a monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on the media shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six cool people on that bus. Oh, <laughs> we got no bitches! <laughs> oh, 
was one of the bad bitch witches. Johnson, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. I like them titties. Okay, that chick. <laughs> a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse. Damn. Who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever? Wow! You could a robot. You could date no. Pathfinder. Anybody wants to date Pathfinder? Go right ahead, bro. Calculus, oh. Lester <laughs> Hewlett Packard. <laughs> Not, the H no. Not the HP, bro. I'm crying. A library I'm so computer. You have to call a sentient robot ready to experience life to the fullest. If that's not Pathfinder, then, like, that's, that's your character right there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my character. Everybody got to choose two, by the way. Y'all got to choose two of these bitches. So make sure you got it in your head who you're going to choose. Dahlia, a blue, a buff blue demon and warmonger who has set her sights on conquering summers next. God damn. Damien, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love for fire we didn't we didn't pay him any attention in the lost game <laughs> oh he's 21 what the fuck wait why are we all going to camp in our 20s like did okay <laughs> milo a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer dang and who, who wants to put the internet influencer Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> profoundly in love with life and all of its <laughs> earthly pleasures now, before we continue, y'all both gotta choose. Y'all all have to choose too. So, Azorio called. Dahlia. Yeah, Azorio called the computer. All right. I gotta have two. Yeah, Nia, um, who'd you choose? You oh, wanted the Joy witch. And Dahlia. Joy and Dahlia. So that's this one. Who's the other one? The blue demon. Okay, so that means y'all got these two, and these two left. So Azorio's already called <laughs> the computer. Azorio, who's your last one? Who you, who you get anyone? Uh, I, I would prefer to. Am I voice acting these people? Yep. Or am I just shooting yeah. them? <laughs> uh, I'll take the hothead. The hothead, cool. That's no, 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 Oh, this no. one? Hothead, yeah. This one? Cool. Yep. <clears throat> All right, and I, I guess I'll take the, the, the dude on the right. Okay, so that means Nemo, you got this one as well. No, 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 no. I got the no, I got the robot, and then I got the dude on the far right. Yeah, Azora's got the computer and the dude. Far right. Nia's, yeah, no, Nia's far, got the far right. Far right. So he oh, got the end. He's a reaper. Yeah, he got he's him. So okay, I got the so you got him. two hot head. Great. Yeah. Okay. Great. Cool beans. Great. I, I gotta come with energy today. Yes, Great. you do, bro. You do. You do. <laughs> the bus trip was long, and all of summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. And so it was clear, it came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Oh, Lord. We should Which one of these animals do you like the most? Um, why are dogs not on here? <laughs> <laughs> Meat Gosh. crocodiles. Why is Tamagotchi? Tamagotchi. Hey. Hey. Wow. Once they die, they die, in case you guys didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> with the current iteration of Tamagotchi, once they dead, that's it, you gotta buy a new one. We gotta buy a whole new Damn. one. Chickens, Trash. they can kill you. Badgers, they don't give a fuck about anything. Peacocks, cats. I'm, I'm gonna go with this one right here. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> ah, fuck. Hey. Go ahead. Oh. <clears throat> fuck yeah! Badgers don't give a fuck! <laughs> Did you hear? They want to back up. <clears throat> <laughs> I think I was a badger in my past life. My teachers always say that I'm badgering them anyway. <laughs> so I think that's the I think that's what that means. Whoa. Maybe you were a badger in your past life too, Flaria. We could have been badger buddies. <laughs> Maybe this summer we could we could be camp buddies. Then we could then we could not give a fuck together. How cute. <laughs> You only had five weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I've already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Oh, hell. What? There are only five places now. Shit. Okay. All right, where are we going? Let's think. All right. Got the lake, camp dome, the manor, scout, or the woods. I mean... I'm going to the woods, bro. Oh, okay. 
You hike into the deep woods and find a mysterious journal with a number three on it half buried in the dirt. Inside is tons of information on local monsters and how to defeat them. It covers gnomes, psychics, time travelers, Illuminati shaped demons. Ayo, hey, Illuminati out here. Lego, triangle, yay. Hi, Cam! <clears throat> what a boring <laughs> journal. Where's the drama? Where are the inner thoughts and insecurities about school crushes? Because, you know, we, we've all had, or I've had, you know, a nice little journal way back when. Y'all won't catch me. Like, you won't, you won't know what it is, though. It's totally not in my house, still. <laughs> uh, whoever, wrote <laughs> whoever wrote this journal knew nothing about how journals work. I get no fun from this. Boo! Did you get smart? But, but we don't I care like about this... being smart, okay? I we feel were, like, I feel like we this were hanging like on two just... smarts the whole game last time. Like... <laughs> <laughs> we did perfectly fine. Oh, oh. Oh, later you need to put Damien. <laughs> How did you come back? For your weekly knife fight Ew. in the woods, it's romantic, you keep telling yourself. God damn. <laughs> All right, noob, you know the drill. Back, back to back, sprint 30 paces away before you throw. First person to lose a hand or cry uncle is... What the fuck? It's a fucking <laughs> piss baby. <laughs> and... Go! <laughs> Right. We gotta put some emphasis into it, bro. <laughs> Fuck! Ow! This stupid <laughs> fucking tree root puts it my perfectly princely ankle. This nigga. <laughs> 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 what the knife? Let's chop down. Let's chop down this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you're about to advise Damien that cutting down a tree with a kitchen knife would be impossible. Hello? But then the offending tree grows up face and speaks. <laughs> Alright, who's the tree? I gotta be the tree. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. Uh -oh. Hey oh, there. Did I hear a sucker say something about being a prince? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> first off, first off, before I go, yeah. Do you see that the tree is smoking? <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> All right. Bet. It was me, Maple Fuck. <laughs> now, do you prefer to die via stabbing or forest fire? Wait, you can't kill me. I uh, I was sent here by the squires <laughs> of. Oh, fuck, crap. What'd you say you were the prince of again? I didn't say. But it's hell. Right, of course. I was sent here by the squires of hell to let you know that <laughs> you're the chosen one. Oh, that's never happened before. But it makes perfect sense. Dang. This nigga is fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my. He's so fucking stupid. Oh, glad you think so. Now your first mission as the chosen one is to plunder a dungeon. It's called the Dungeon of Prison. And you gotta survive ten years on the inside. Damn. Oh, freeze on. Sounds metal as fuck. What would I get if I survive? Parole, if you're lucky. This nigga. But here's the most important part. You gotta go undercover. While you're there, tell everyone. Your name is Mike the Magic Tree. Yo, like Puff the Magic Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's so clever. I'm obviously not a magic tree, which makes it perfect, would make it the perfect disguise. disguise. So no one will never know I'm actually a demon, chosen one from hell. Because there's a little, there's a little, um, apostrophe in the middle of it, easy. Hell yes, Cam. We gotta have fun with this shit. All right, it's fun. Exactly. And now you can never let anyone know your true identity, okay? Not even if people try to trick you into blowing your cover by saying stuff like, Mike is a terrible person who's committed terrible crimes or whatever. Got it? I'm dead. Uh, the only thing that you've got is the impression that Damien's getting scammed into doing prison tree time. Uh, wait, prison time on this tree's behalf? You tell him so. <laughs> I mean, wait, I that was obvious. So I'm going to a dungeon called prison. I'm just going to prison. Lame. 
Well, that fucking sucks. Why didn't you say something 12 seconds ago before I signed this waiver saying I'm definitely Mike the Magic Tree and let this officer hang up? This nigga is stupid. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my Sorry, God. kid. Nobody out scams old Mike. Let me know how that prison sentence goes. I'll be here catching up on my beauty sleep and puff, 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 puff with the puff, puff, puff. <laughs> got scammed by a tree. <laughs> tree. Well, Floria, do you at least have some advice on how to make the prison less bullshit until I can find a way to bust out? Don't drop this um, up. Damn, I was say don't mm, drop this yeah. up. You need to label your for cleaning and your toothbrush for shit. Dang! Wow! You're choosing oh which prison God. gang to join. Always remember to ask if they include that to the rest. Nah, fuck this. I want this. Wow. Why is that his friend? <laughs> what the dick? You want me to have a different toothbrush used for stabbing people? No way. Anybody who separates their shiv toothbrush okay, and their well, cleaning fuck toothbrush you, then, is a little my bitch. Nigga. In fact, my current toothbrush even doubles as a shiv. Biles, wow. I don't want to kiss you anyway with the shit in your mouth and uh, I'm good. Uh. Damien shows you his toothbrush instead of carving the end into a point like a normal shift. He just removed the bristles and replaced them with razor blades. Oh my lord. Okay. What do you think of that, noob? Actually, how about I show you just how awesome my all-in-one toothbrush shift is before you suggest any other stupid fucking ideas? Damien forcibly brushes her teeth with razor blades. Ah! <laughs> Damn, game over. God damn! The cops hauled Damien off to prison. <laughs> if not for Mike's crimes, definitely for the murder he just attempted on your teeth. Yeah, fuck you, bro. He's back in camp two days later. Off of the prison, mysteriously burns down. Wow, <laughs> but he's still pretty enough. With your bad suggestion. Last of least of your problems, you ended up with needing mouth surgery. Your dentist took one. Your dentist took one look at your bleeding razor gums and told you to floss more because they always do. Regardless of what you do in life, your fucking dentist will tell you to fucking floss more. Trash ass. I lose two charm and one fun. Wow, boo. Fucking trash. Get your favorite tooth just got just got sent away. <laughs> you lost your favorite tooth. I'm depressed. I'm not going there no more. What in the world is happening? <laughs> that day, a fun and zany scavenger hunt awaits you at the camp dome. Last night, the council stole your organs while you were asleep. <laughs> and you have to solve the scavenger hunt. Clues to get them back. Isn't that fun? No? Too bad! You make the best of the situation by stealing your hotter friend's organs in place of your own. You get 10 evil from Dimitri's liver. Dang. You also find a very strange gland. So I got my charms back. Woo. And against common sense, you shove it up your nose. Okay, cool. Yo, look at the dead body that's just right here. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I am. That's <laughs> Afterwards, yeah. everyone begins a rousing game of paintball, except the paints are actually bullets. You unfortunately are taken out of the game for being a conscientious except uh, objector. Even more unfortunately, the two players you'd most like to hump are creatively arguing behind a bullet-riddled paintball bunker. Oh, why are you back, Nemo? <laughs> How do I? I got Nemo got I double duty, bro. Yeah. Double duty. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Man, Don't tell me how to live my life. If I want to hold my gun this way when I shoot it, that's my business and no one else's. How do I attack this voice? <laughs> um. Nemo got to think about his, his creativity voice right now. You got it, Nemo. Do I? <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. Shit. <clears throat> I've been holding it. <laughs> What's the exact one? But holding it sideways completely defeats the purpose of lining up the sides of your shot. It's suboptimal. <laughs> but when I hold it sideways, I look like a gangster. This nigga. <laughs> You're gonna look dead in a few minutes if you don't cover me right now. 
wouldn't need to be covered if you didn't bring a fucking crossbow to a gunfight. <laughs> Nemo's doing the thing, E. Eat all you want, Damien, but there's no disadvantage to shooting a crossbow sideways. At least no more disadvantage than having brought a crossbow to a gunfight in the first place. <laughs> Rad, thanks, Hex. You, you accursed objects always have the best suggestions. No one ready. is listening to you as you conscientiously object to Damien swapping out his gun for a far as bonus crossbow. Well, at least there's no way this could possibly get any worse. Oh my God! We got a fucking callback. Now. Oh, <laughs> Dip, when do you go? <laughs> Niado san! Damn, okay, fine. Need no, oh, there but there's you. a way it can get better. <laughs> Don't give up, guys. Four, three, two, one. Crossbows are better than guns. <laughs> the chanting, Mongrel. You're giving away our position. Why the fuck are you cheerleading anyway, Scott? We could use your guns in this gunfight. I decided to sit this game out, partly because I'm not anybody's primary love interest right now, and therefore have no wall. reason to be in hilariously dangerous <laughs> situations. Dang! Call us out, why don't you? Yeah, you might have to call uh, Dr. Antoine. But also, I'd rather cheerlead. Guns aren't nice, but cheerleading is nice. So cheerleading your gun friends is You can't nice. hear that guy, you hear that guy, go cheerlead your Republican gun friends. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, I really don't like that. I got fucking phone calls on phone calls. <laughs> well, hey, you know what would be even nicer? Not selling us out to the enemy team by shouting where we are. <laughs> oh, you want me to throw them off? <laughs> okay. Bad guys, listen loud and clear. Damien and Arabi are not here. <laughs> Nice work, bud. What, what will we do without you? Hex may live for the chaos, but you'd rather Damien and Aravi not get shot. There's no way you're gonna talk Scott out of cheerleading once he's into it. But maybe there's a way to actually make him useful. Um. Oh god. Make up a cheer that That's is wrong. actually oh, an extremely. Jesus. <laughs> This is an argument for gun control. <laughs> no, I want the Kevlar pom poms. I want the Kevlar pom poms. <laughs> what? No way, Valeria. Kevlar is not. Yo, a I'm good not doing very well today. To make pom poms with. I mean, it's hard to lift and it's not very pretty. How am I supposed to do sweet thigh stands and back handsprings while I'm holding Kevlar? I want to try to date you. Ew. No, he's missing the point. You try to explain your logic behind using military grade pom poms to save your friends. No, wow. Gloria, you're missing the point. I'm not trying the to take you. The point of pom poms is for them to be lightweight and glittery. Did we see you really turn him gay? Hello? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> pom poms represent love and excitement. Kevlar is neither loving nor exciting. You see, it's all goes back to 1965 oh, when the first pom poms were invented. What in the fuck am I talking about? Right I don't now? know, bro. The history of pom poms. Wow, 20 the minutes hell? later, the match is so far. Scott has only made it to the mid 90s. I'm great. What the fuck? Oh, there you two turd munchers are. Where were you when we were dying of prolonged gun exposure a few minutes ago? I'm sorry, guys. I wanted to help, but I was too busy arguing with Valeria about how Kevlar pom poms are a bad idea. That's what you're fighting about? You're ridiculous. 
Yeah, no fucking kidding, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, hey, I was getting viruses knows today. Pom poms are only supposed to be made out of glittery <laughs> ribbon. Kevlar would just be heavy and sad. Yeah, I thought you would at least be on my sleeve. Do you know anything about fashion? Black bullet poop accessories are so mid 22nd century nuclear apocalypse. God damn. damn. Oh my lord. Bro, I'm about to get oh, wait. zero. That was the wrong voice. Not the voice. <laughs> Not to mention the speed and dexterity disadvantages you have to take using just one of those things, let alone dual wielding them. Pass. Wow! Here, remind me why you never take your advice on anything paintball except the paintballs are actually bullets related again. Oh, Bro, oh, we're off to a lady. terrible start. <laughs> or just related to anything at all. See ya. God damn. They walk off mostly because Aravi and Damon are Damien are bleeding profusely and need medical attention. There you go again, arguing about Kevlar in a time of crisis. What, you're only trying to help? No, fuck you. <laughs> you don't understand everything about Bob Bob. Wow. I lose two sports in one charm. Bro, what is happening? You just got wow. the sports. I just got what those. The oh, Lord, who are we going to sit next to in the campfire? Yeah, let, let's get Azoriel in this bitch. <laughs> You happen upon Calculus or Dahlia flipping through a scrapbook laughing. I'm sorry, what? Graciously? La whatever the word is. Go oh, ahead. Oh, hell yeah. This is a great picture of us, Cal. The Coliseum <laughs> and the form were so cool to see in person. God, I love the Romans. So many <laughs> training facilities, ancient <laughs> armor, literal centuries of bloodlust soaking the soil. I couldn't stop fangirling. Yes, they were truly fascinating, laughing at EXE. But I must say, <laughs> seeing the Ale Alebi headquarters in person was a highlight of my Italy experience. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Being in the presence of one of the earliest computer manufacturing companies in the world was a dream come true! Exclamation point. I was hoping that my ancestors were proud. Exclamation point. Oh, hey, Perio. <laughs> I want to look at our scrapbook. We were just reminiscing about the trip to Italy we took last <laughs> month. <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> she shows you the scrapbook. You get the impression that it was a joint project. Some of the pages uh -huh. are decorated with bone fragments and motivational glitter stickers, and others were clearly typed up and printed straight out of Microsoft Excel. <laughs> we had a great time. Excitement. I was fascinated by all the churches, comma, and even more fascinated by the beautiful, meaningless rituals organics performed there, period. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I had to sit those fucking places out. The Pope didn't really seem keen on letting someone with horns into the Vatican, the Ooh. bitch ass bitch. Laughing that <laughs> EXE. <laughs> but it's cool. I commandeered a gondola in Venice, and we had an all out naval battle that I totally crushed. Bye. Yes. Incidentally, we are no longer allowed to enter Italy. Damn. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> but there are lots of other places to visit. I'm thinking Britain for our next trip. Let's keep the ruthless war machine empire thing going. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that sounds Yo. <laughs> Britain would be nice, comma. I'm partial to Japan, dot. Their technological advances intrigue me so greatly. Exclamation point. Plus the anime is great. <laughs> I also have an uncle who works at Nintendo as a copy machine. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> <laughs>
flair you could come to. There's always room for more on the Dal and Cal Express. A vacation with Dahlia and Cal Calculester, where do you sign? Wait, friend Dahlia, exclamation point. I also happy to invite Flaria on our next trip. Wow, what <laughs> role? What role shall she fulfill? Question Hi, mark. Jake. Ah, you make an excellent <laughs> point. A true master of war knows that every member amongst her ranks must be absolutely necessary. Why she look like Kratos? <laughs> yeah, so, you see, Laria, I, on our previous trip, comma, I acted as the perfect trip planner, organizing our activities in color coded spreadsheets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was a morale booster. I was going around screaming, Look, it's the David. Look, it's the Ufizi. To maintain the hype and make sure everyone knew the fuck they were looking at. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Besides Horny One and Gamer, what role could you fill on a vacation with Dahlia and Calculester? Okay, now I've been making the wrong choices for the past two points, you know? <laughs> you can be the backup memory. Calculus's memories could be overridden, and Dahlia puts herself in danger so often that memory loss is a real possibility. Or, you could analyze all the co the country's weaknesses to ensure you can defeat it in a battle of tourism. I don't want to- I, I, yeah, I, do, I feel like the first one's gonna piss off Calculester. <laughs> oh, thank God. We finally got a heart! <laughs> Shit! Oh, you like Dahlia? Okay. Uh, oh, hell yeah. You That's got her special ending? Idea. Okay, Cam. Oh, Lord. You're hired. I mean, I loved our trip to Italy, but I do kind of regret not doing more research into their weaknesses sooner. Like their pizza and pasta clearly are inferior to Olive Garden. Wow! And wimpy... All the Olive Garden stands! <laughs> All the Olive Garden stands! <laughs> and their wimpy parliamentary republic. What happened to Caesar? Did he die? He made a it's very not good very salad. heroic. Really good salad, bro. Not to mention their surprisingly squishy skulls. <laughs> oh, they're fucking squishy skulls. I would have thought the Roman residents would have retained some of their ancestors' strength, I mean... but they're saying that they're weak ass bitches. The weak ass, punk ass bitches. I tested, <laughs> yep. I tested this myself, actually. My research concluded that Italian skulls are. Come on, say, do you say. Not the not resistant to an attack from a morning star. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> After that, the police showed up and totally confiscated my morning star Ooh. and arrested me. Probably because they were scared I'd discover the rest of their weaknesses. Mm. What? Oh my God. Surprise, I that APG. Where was <laughs> I when all this happened? Like <laughs> Hundred bits for the tizzles. Appreciate you so much. Oh. Welcome to story time uh. with the crew. <laughs> In the Vatican, I think. I told you that. I told you I used that time to check out some old dungeons. <laughs> I thought you did it in such a touristic capacity, not because you were temporarily imprisoned in one. Damn. Damn. Details don't matter. If only I knowed Italy's weakness profile sooner, I simply would have brought more morning stars. <laughs> mm, but I'll be more prepared next time. Thanks to you, Flaria. I can't wait. Come on, give us something positive. Yeah, neither neither can you. As long as you get to be there when Dahlia's swinging her morning star, that is. Just the thought is already getting you all hot and bothered. <laughs> I didn't get shit! Wow! <laughs> That's weird. You got a heart, though. You got a little heart, you're right. Now, Let's go to the I don't... Kingdom. 
Okay, yeah, cause I was like, I really don't like the idea of going to the lake, <laughs> but we're back here again. The de that day at the Cap Dome, you all play the classic children's games. The floor is lava with a twist. The floor is literally lava. <laughs> You're all ho hopping, <laughs> hopping here and there, trying to survive the dangers of, you know, lava. But then one of your teammates falls. Shit. He's sinking into the lava, dying a slow, agonizing death. You offer a hand, but it's too late. Before disappearing under the hot lava, he whispers his lost words. Flaria, your hair looks great. <laughs> it does, God damn it! You gained two charms with a nice compliment. <clears throat> oh my god, bro, why? Why do we have to keep coming back to this mess? They about, are you ready? Is he back? That frog. You link up with Damien afterwards. He told you Coach wanted him to dig a latrine and he could use a hand. <clears throat> My best Nemo impression. Mm. Oh, wait. Nemo? There no. you are, Scenario. Thanks for showing up. But well, I think I figured it out. <laughs> I don't know what a latrine was. But it sounds French. So, I made an educated guess and buried landmines everywhere. Damn. <laughs> you look at him perplexed. The French didn't invent landmines, you tell him. What? They didn't? What the fuck is the point of the French then? I'm sorry, who? Fuck? Who the who hell is this nigga? Hey, stop burying those landmines on my property. You're dangerously close to exceeding the state of California's recommended landmine maximum, and I don't need that paperwork. Fight me, dude! <laughs> Your land? What the fuck are you talking about? I carried my name into Yo, every he building got here, the rings. and Is most this of the campers. This baby Thanos? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, hey, be sorry, up. kid. Not actually sorry. I'm evil. It's just an expression. But Camp Spooky is mine now. Here's the deed. What? No. You can't buy Camp Spooky. This is the home of some of my most tre treasured memories. Also, all of my landmines. Your memories and explosives will have to find another home, Sunny. This is shopping more country now. That. That. That blows utter balls! Shopping malls are useless. Why build one here? <coughs> Damn, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary, shopping malls still have one very important use. Making summer campers like you absolutely miserable. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to spill some oil in the Pacific Ocean and blame it on the sea otters. I'll be back with the bulldozers this afternoon. Toodles! Oh my lord. Maximum. Fuck this. <laughs> we can't let this colossal wiener bulldo bulldoze our beloved camp. I <laughs> was planning to bulldoze our beloved camp. <laughs> There's only one way to fix this that I would accept. Crimes! Come on, Flair. Help me think of oh, an act of vandalism so heinous it'll scare that dweeb away for good. Oh, Lord. Okay. Bring in the one thing guaranteed to destroy the value of any property, shitty neighbors, or sow salt in the soil so no shopping malls will ever grow here again. Hmm. Well, the second one sounds What's stupid, that? right? Yeah. I was going to say, how about the first one? The first one. Nope. It was gonna be the second oh, one. Fine. It's always it's always a stupid answer with him. <laughs> right. Damn right. Shitty neighbors can turn the best property into a carnival of shit. <sighs> like my fucking neighbor Randall. He he smells like a burning like burning hair and has a fishing hat that I covet. God, he makes me fucking sick. Where we found some appropriately shitty neighbors. It's not like Randall's moving anytime soon. Damn him. What we need are some skilled bad neighbor impersonators, caper experts, you know, or what's another way to say it? Oh yeah, we need some 
Oh my god. god. Here we go, Frank hey. Matthews. With a Z. <laughs> I was going to say escapade specialist, but that's even better. You know, I really admire you, Prank Masters. I mean, pranks are basically crimes, but everyone laughs instead of trying to arrest you. Only if you're not pranking hard enough. Come on, let's get a pranking! You give Polly and Scott some time to prepare while you and Damien hide in a bush and wait for the CEO's evil return. I'm back, and boy, I am I evil. Now where did I put that wrecking ball? Hi. Oh, uh, hello, neighbor. What's up, neighbor? Mm -hmm. Are you building a shopping mall here? God, I love shopping malls. They get me so hot. <laughs> really? Uh, that's, that's excellent. I'll get this building done really quickly. Oh, uh, I mean, not too quickly. Slowly and, um, sensually. Wait, I know I call you all teenagers quite often, but are you actually teenagers? Or just horny young adults going to some account for some reason? I don't remember. Uh, the second thing? I think. Wait, when's my birthday again? <laughs> Good enough for me. I'll be right back with that mall. I have to change pants. Ew. You gotta change your pants for <laughs> Already? All she did was show up. What the fuck, you guys? Now he's more horny for shopping malls than he was before. What the hell happened? I'll tell you what happened, Damien. You guys just got. Double Dang. We lied for you. Dang. Dang. Fuck me. I guess that's what I get for dealing with the prank masters and for listening to Flaria. She is worse Bro, than Randall. You know what? The next time we have him up, I'm just gonna shoot the stupidest answer. Like, <laughs> this is not a compliment, dog. The CEO can't buy the camp because the PM's already prank, also pranked him by replacing his deed with salami. You still lose two charm and one boldness, but I have no charm. Like, Jesus. God damn. Ah. <sighs> Damn, the music's a rough, rough couple of days. You know what? Let's, okay, it's the beginning. It's all good. Let's, let's go. Let's go to the man. You decide to get your tarot cards read while oh. you're in the haunted Oh, mansion. shit. The wicked old lady who offers you the service said it would be fun. Never fun, peeps. The first card she flips over shows a photorealistic drawing of you flying on a hang glider directly into power lines. G. Oh, Lord. Sauce. Is that good? Ouch. You ask the psychic. She wordlessly puts her cards away and vanishes into the darkness. It's probably fine. You gain two boldness and a new f and a fun new phobia. I mean, yeah, be scared, bro. Come on, bro. I think it's because we like snatched you from the beginning, so I somehow have I to so. make you fall in love with me. <laughs> Afterwards, you manage to convince Damon in that back massages keep away mosquitoes and you're really getting after it when hey uh has that weird chuckling lamp always been over there what weird la oh wow okay <laughs> there's something weird about this lamp i just can't put my finger on it well in the words of the Great Mah Mahat Gandhi. When in doubt, set it Jeez. on fire. Oh, shit. You're pretty sure that's not what Gandhi said. but And you tell Damien so. Really? Huh. I tried to re read a, a biography of Gandhi once, but I couldn't understand it. So I set it on fire. I oh. thought that was a lesson the book was trying to teach me. Damn. A chameleon? Yeah. This yeah. nigga is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, chose Lord. him? Hi. That was five minutes Hi. ago. The book is still on fire, actually. In fact, it's what we're planning to use to burn this lamp. Watch. Oh, Lord. My Lord. <clears throat> no That's need, cool. Damien. The only person who's being burned here is you by my impeccable disguise. Whoa. That's crazy. 
Oh, Counselor Flodge? You were the lamp the whole time? Bro, how's your character this stupid, bro? Like, I just want to know this. Oh, my God. We're guilty. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, my There's God. There's no way he can see through them glasses. <laughs> Only if you think lying is cool, which I do, but only when I do it, not when people do it to me. I wasn't trying to lie to you, Damien. I was trying to teach you a lesson about the wonders of camouflage. Get real. Camouflage is for stupid babies who are too lame to solve their problems with violence. No. Sneak level one. Oh, so it's violence you're interested in, huh? I'll have you know that in the heady days of my youth, I once disguised myself as a baguette in order to stab the French Prime Minister. Damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Ow. But France doesn't have a Prime Minister. They have a President. <laughs> Only because I stabbed the Prime Minister. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't know camouflage could be used for stabbing. This changes everything. <laughs> mm. But I still don't think it's for me. It's pretty hard to blend in when you have such blemishes, blemishless crimson red skin. I mean, you do have pretty flawless skin, my dear. Skin, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about that, son. I can change my skin to any color I want. I am the master of disguise. So clearly, skin color doesn't matter here. Get it, guys? Skin color doesn't matter anywhere, okay? Thanks. Damn. All we need to do me. is find the perfect way for you to blend into your surroundings. Oh, oh, you've got an idea? Oh, Lord, here we go. Get a high power job in the fashion industry and make red the in color for this season and next season and every other season. Or hide Damien in a giant bowl of delicious Hawaiian punch. I'm gonna put Damien in a giant bowl of Hawaiian punch. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna scream. Nope. Time to scream. <laughs> Time to scream. You can. Oh you can my do that? Fucking gosh! What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Uh, you can do anything with camouflage, son. Not to brag, but I once snuck into the G8 summit disguised as a guy who was <laughs> running naked through the G8 summit. Anything's possible. That's crazy enough to work. The best idea I've I've heard since I, I suggested we ha huh. talking too fast. God damn. <laughs> this is the best idea I've ever heard since I suggested we set that weird lamp on fire earlier, and it's giving me some great crime ideas too. Valeria, you grab a fuck off giant bowl, I'll get the punch. Oh lord. You borrow a fuck off giant bowl from Friday the Punch loving giant and excitedly await the return of your violent crush. Oh my a god. A few moments fuck? later. I'm back! And I definitely got the punch, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, I beat up a convenience store clerk and stole a fuck ton of Hawaiian punch. Fine. Never know. Damon starts to excitedly fill the bowl you borrowed, but you can't help but point out the liquid he's filling it with is green. Of course it's green. I'd be pissed off if I bought green berry rush and it was like But bro, your friend. Truth in advertising is important. You patiently explain that he was supposed to get red Hawaiian punch, just like the color of his skin. Well, obviously, I was going to do that, but then I got to the convenience store and they only, and they only had cherry flavor. I hate cherry flavor. Oh my God. You try to tell him what the flavor really isn't what you were going for here, but Damien refuses to listen. He finishes filling the bowl with punch and climbs in. Hell yes, I'm invisible. I, I hate to be the bear of bad news, son, but um, you're definitely not. If anything, you're more visible than ever before. It's an easy fix, though. All you've got to do is turn your skin green by exciting the iridophores in your on your dermal surface. Why? What? Dude, I can't even. 
can't change my skin color. The whole point of this Hawaiian punch plant was to make up for the fact that my skin is red all the time. Oh my God. Oh, um, uh, in that case, I guess the only logical conclusion is that Flaria is bad at Yo. disguises. Fuck you! <laughs> Come on, Damien. Let me show you how pros do it. Damien heads off to the counselor Flaws to learn how to tape... How to tape leaves on his face or some dumb bullshit like that. You take a sip of the green punch. It really is a butterfly, but, but it doesn't cure the sadness in your heart. Cause I'm fucking this up, bro. Like, you can lose two fun and one charm. Ayo, Amethyst, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Brews fucking up this, this fucking game. Oh my God. Um, give me one second. My Amazon package was just delivered. I'll be right back. I'm waiting for my uh, my Amazon package to come. I ordered some waters today. Ooh. It's a um, it's a brand called Liquid Death. It's a uh, like a carbonated water. It's carbonated like a beer. It's pretty nice. And apparently they got like flavors now. So they got like lime and mango. It's like what? And try it out. Why is it called Liquid Myth? <laughs> no, Liquid Death. Yes. That's still... <laughs> That's still bad, right? It's still bad. That's even worse. That's way worse. <laughs> I know, right? And the tagline is murder your thirst. I <laughs> am screaming. Oh, God. Pretty delicious water, though. Oh, sweet Jesus. I'm actually kind of... Not Anticipating the lime one and the mango one. I hope it's good. Mm -hmm. My mind eh. All right, who are we going to? Cause goddamn, I need some love here. We gotta go Let's... back. We can try down. Oh, it does sound like alcohol. Does sound like alcohol. Yeah, right. Hmm. I need some love here. Like Jesus, I'm. I have no fun. Fine. Go up here. Mm. What liquid death? Who? What? What liquid death is that? Oh, no, I said I'm, I ordered some uh, water called liquid death. Is that the black water? Yeah, it's like in a black can, but it's carbonated like a beer. Mm, interesting. Mm. After a long day of uh, relentless horniness, okay. You head mm. to the campfire to relax. You find Milo, Aravi, and Hex all gathered around a tray of delicious looking cheeses. Hello, ah, perfect. Come join our taste in Flaria. We need it before. Anyway, as I was saying, Jeez. I recommend that you begin the <laughs> 10,000 day age Gouda. I think. <laughs> You don't find often see a Gouda starting cheese, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh. Next, we'll have the aged washed rind cow cheese. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> this one has a flirtiness that really puts the wind in my sails, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, Nemo. <laughs> me yeah. <laughs> oh. I know what you mean you mean the you mean the cheese tastes good god I'm smart so smart bro obviously you should finish with the raw milk goat blue fair warning it is funky Sounds I recommend funky, pairing right? yeah. I recommend pairing that apple brandy to finish <laughs> Aravi sl slams a chunk of Gouda into her mouth. As she's chewing, some numbers appear over her head. Recover two health, six agility boost. Okay. Okay, but like, I want that. This... <laughs> My inspiration for this platter came from the groundbreaking work going on in the Southern Cheesery right now. You'll notice that there is a certain lighter, airy quality to the finish. <laughs> Wait a minute. With the fucking adjectives, Milo. I'm confused. Who's winning? 
I can't believe I have to explain this to you. <laughs> but cheese tasting is not a competition. You know, nobody's winning. Relax, calm down. <laughs> it's like any other magical moment in life. You don't need to look at the moon to get points. You do it because it fills up your soul with fragility of the universe. Okay, okay. This is impossible. Now, uh, I look at the moon to increase my wisdom stat. Literally everything is a competition. Everything. Everything, bro. I can't disagree. Mm. No, you're, you're wrong, Damn. you little gremlin. What about flower smelling? Wait, she changed colors. <laughs> Yeah, my heart. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> the fuck? Hey. Competition for who can inhale the most pollen. God damn. I was just going to be <laughs> fucked up. Wine tasting. Get good. A competition who can be the most pretentious asshole. Wow. Okay. I'm going to sit in my fucking corner then. Damn. <laughs> All right. I'm concerned that this reckless focus on winning is robbing you of the ability to enjoy the ephemeral nature of existence. Okay. Mm. Nice try, you willy reaper. But I'm not letting my guard down. What is this? A clever tactic common to the professional cheese sport scene? Wait. Wait. What? What? Just what's these cheese? Is that the head? Yeah. So you have a spirit attached to the spirit, yeah. character. Oh my god, so I have You're being this. haunted. You're, you're technically three characters. <laughs> Please, you guys, I just want to eat the cheese. <laughs> you do too, but not as badly as you want to impress one of your two in battle friends. Quickly choose a side. Damn. Um. Now, me being me, I'm gonna go with my main bitch with the cheese, cause Nemo, you got a band. Okay. I did. Thank I you. Did, I did. I did. I'm here. I was paying attention. Yes. I my main bitch show me some love. You tell Aravi that cheese tasting is a co-op game, and the cheese nice. is your team's opponent. You all win by enjoying the cheeses to their fullest. I like it. It's cute. Hey. Oh. Finally, someone's making sense around here. But oh, wait, if it's co-op, what are the rules? Am I the tank or the human? Wow, nice making it sound like um, <laughs> fucking uh, what's it called? D and D. <laughs> How are points awarded? Who's judging this thing? How much XP do I get for winning? Is it shared XP across the team, oh or proportionally to damage inflicted on the cheese per player? What? the hell she be doing <laughs> in her life well clearly you're the dps which means deliciousness per second ha huh, you like that right come on dps we'll, let's go we'll be counting on you to enjoy the cheeses especially hard Pass me the ketchup. yeah and i'm the healer <laughs> <laughs> Which means you get maximum points by giving me bites of your cheese. <laughs> <laughs> With Arabi sufficiently motivated, the four of you dive into the cheeses. Good God, these are delicious. Who knew that weird old milk could be so good? Cool Ranch Doritos. The ghost voice? Milo, I have to say. This gorgonzola is really next level. <laughs> it's Yo, like Nemo Doritos sounds like level. every ghost in the story. Typical ghost. It's like Doritos movie, level bro. good. <laughs> Glad Ooh. you're enjoying it, my friendly little curse. I do think this is one of my finest platters yet. Yeah, yeah I'm so into I'm so into this cheese. I'm loving the shit out of it. <laughs> Wow, that's great, Avari. Enthusiasm is the fermented citrus pepper paste of life. Okay, deep, sis, deep out here. Damn, fermenters, citrus pepper. I'm chewing the hell out of this gorgonzola. I'm gonna fucking crush its score at having fun. 
Why is you folks eating managed... the donut? I, bro, I don't know. I was gonna ask that, but I was gonna let it go too. You all managed right. to have a great time with Aravi seems to be super pleased with her final school. Sweet. Now that I've conquered cheese tasting, I gotta move on to the next XP grind. See you two dummies later. Damn. Ravi leaves while Hex takes a satisfying post-cheese nap on her shoulders. Damn. Damn. Well, now that she's gone, shall we get started on the superior cheese platter? Oh! Milo pulls out a second cheese platter that somehow looks even more delicious. Like, seriously insane. You could easily fuck the cheeses. I mean, oh my nope. God. we're not getting anything from hey, Damien. So. Right. You are killing it. I saved this platter for the winner of the cheese tasting. <laughs> and I think that's you, Flurry. <laughs> you and Milo split the cheese platter just between the two of you. You even share a single hunk of camembert, which is basically an indirect kiss. Nice, nice, Ooh, nice. Smooth. Okay. Bring out the flasks? Oh shit. Um What will be in my flask? You know what? YOLO, bro. I'll take the gamble. <laughs> Next thing you should have. Them holes in Swiss gotta be made somehow. Heck yes. Okay, you gotta throw, uh, drill in the holes. Oh god. Ah, uh, welcome, ah. welcome. Oh. You got it. You new here? Don't fret. Let me explain how this works. I'll prepare you a drink, the drink of the day. Okay, I'm a drink that's being made by a cat. Okay, okay. cool beans. This would be you onyx. May, honestly, you may choose to drink that one, but if you're not interested, you're lucky. There's a mystery bottle with a second option. It could be better, it could be worse, but one thing is for sure, it will be a mysterious. Mysterious. And these drinks look, choose whatever you want, but I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. I mean, especially <laughs> if it's that dick though. Okay, no. I am a wizard in training. For you to test my concoction is somewhere between kind and reckless. <clears throat> so, get ready and good luck. Quite appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? Will I drink whiskey? I also Ooh, have this mis mystery that box train? because at this point, <laughs> he did, uh, that's from Nia, bro. Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck? Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're sorry. trained. No, no, it's <laughs> the <you>. train stuff. <laughs> <You're trained. laughs> because at this point, who knows what you drink? So do I want the whiskey or the mystery box? I'm scared what's in the mystery box, to be honest. Knowing this game, it could be anything. <laughs> it could be anything. And I'm just like... Whiskey man, seems what, so... What are we doing? What are we here for? We know what we here for. I feel for. like you're going to get some boldness from drinking the whiskey. I'm going in the box. Fuck it. Stem. Okay. He's so bold, <laughs> see? You just got to be bold. Hopefully halfway with no refunds. I drink a ski mask. Great. All right. We got, uh... Cool. We can now c commit robbery. The ski mask was imbued with magic, my friend. It's a magical object to let someone go incognito. Great. Okay. But since you drank it, I guess your inner stats will go incognito <gasps> now. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? We ain't got to worry about the stats now. Let's go. <laughs> no, God damn. <laughs> it's so a hard to believe okay. you drank that. Good luck. <laughs> I am <laughs> screaming. <laughs> I am this fucking game screaming. This game, you know what? Let's go to the lake. We haven't so gone rough. there yet. This one is so much more rough than my actual monster. Bro, mom. the first one was easy. This shit is difficult. Like, <laughs> like, like real life camp. <laughs> we going to have to run this exactly. back. Exactly. We got to run this back another day because, oh my gosh. Like, Before God you go damn. to the lake, you decide to make the most fun inflatable toy to float all you possibly can because I'm a fire bitch. So, <laughs> you could buy many of your fun things ice cream, tabletop games, watching enemies uh, fail, ducks. The resulting amalgamism is certainly interesting, even if it doesn't exactly float on water. You decide to name your toy Dr. Frankenfern, or maybe just call it Frankenfern's monster. Just beholding the horror you give, create, you've created gives you too fun. Although I don't know what okay. that is. Okay, we, we got too fun now. We got too fun. Zero. You're at zero. You're at zero. Now you're at two. Yeah, see? God damn. Just... 
Why? Love interest. <laughs> You're my love back. interest, Nemo. So you're gonna come back at every point. Damn. You and Damien are lounging together, having a surprisingly chill time reading comic books. This is going to sound crazy, but can you pass me that one that doesn't have something? Someone putting his fist through someone else's on the cover? <laughs> oh, damn. Nemo got double duty. <laughs> damn. Technically triple. Wait, no, that's you on. Now? That's you on the end, isn't it? What's this yeah. now? You're oh, but read actual words that might describe something other the than punching. The V line. Is that <gasps> what you're looking at, Blossom? Really? <laughs> Mo, uh, uh, Nemo, uh, Blossom likes your V line. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Who said that? I was just asking for the one without someone punching, so that I could eat it. It's obviously. There. <laughs> Uh huh. Right. What did I say, Dahlia? I told you he's getting soft. Damn. But not so soft that you won't still come sand strangling and yeah. ocean kicking with us tonight. Right. You hungry for some dick? We we've seen that blossom. Oh, we got Lord. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My biceps are ready to choke that sand right out. Oh, okay. And I need a special boost to make the spikes on the bottom and the sides and the top, so I can really show those waves who's boss. Wow. That hydrates for you, blossom, because uh, you, you're looking thirsty. <laughs> well, <laughs> that does sound great, but. But speaking of the ocean, I was actually going to watch this documentary on dolphins tonight. I'm making popcorn and, <laughs> and baking dolphin shaped cookies. If you want to join. Wow. You've changed, Damien. It's no wonder the, the wildfire hasn't appeared to you yet. Wow. What? What do you mean? I know you've been on the hunt for the elusive wildfire, and I know it's thus far eluded you, and I also know why. Go eat something, please, Blossom, and thank you. You are unworthy. Blossom, your demon bay wants you to go eat. Hey, <laughs> you can only get go the beef if you eat something, so go eat something, thanks. The wildfire only appears to those who are badass enough to be worthy of wow. its unbridled glory and untamed majesty. I'm gonna stop shuffling them. Mm. Yes, it's bear. true. <laughs> it's true. I was just in the woods one day playing with matches, and suddenly, out of nowhere, wildfire just appeared. <clears throat> it was one of the most <laughs> magical moments of my life. <laughs> There's nothing like seeing a wildfire out in its natural habitat. That was pathetic. Nemo. Good food. Yeah. You better get the good food. It's too bad. You'll never see it. Face it, Damien. You're just not metal anymore. Wow. <laughs> Not metal, not metal. Wow. I'll show them who's not metal, or I'll show them who is metal. It's me. I'm still metal now to prove it by becoming worthy of the wildfire. But how oh god, they're gonna ask god. me how. Shit. Perform the sickest skateboard trick, escaping from a tank of water while chained on and on a skateboard, or write a poem. But the poem is very metal. <laughs> now you know Lord which one I want to choose, which is the first one. Yeah, we, we feel like this is the like... first one. This is the first one. But if I choose this shit, and he's not impressed, we're just gonna take the bad ending on this one. Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's all kinds of metal. We're this gonna take die. the bad ending on this one. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, I don't get this. We're gonna take the bad ending. <laughs> the chains are gonna be metal. That the top of the water of the tank. The top of the water tank will be metal, I guess. The wheels of the skateboard 
Are those metal? <laughs> Who cares? Oh my God, Point is, bro. that's a metal, it's and I'll be the metalist of all. Up, bro. Like, it makes no sense. In fact, let's find even let's find even more metal. I'm gonna have a tuning fork in each hand when you chain me. No, wait. A tuning fork in one hand and a regular fork in the other hand. <laughs> How are you so dumb? I think there's a metal suit of armor in the haunted manor. I could wear that too. Oh my god, bro, I'm tired. <laughs> so here's the important part. No matter what I say, Flaria, you cannot let me out. I bet you'll okay? let him out. I promise. Even if I scream and beg and plead, even if I pray for death rather than continue with the trick do not let me out understood understood bruh my feelings don't matter my pain doesn't matter the only thing that matters is completing this rad fucking trick so that i can lure out the wildfire got it <laughs> got it bruh you agree that it's it is okay understood and if you do in fact got it you chain damien up Put him in a suit of armor. I mean, chain and Damien up. That sounds like a fun ass time, right, Nia? <laughs> yeah. Into the dungeon. Into the dungeon. Throw a skateboard into He's the bottom fun. of the water tank and throw the armor chain fork holding Damien in after it. You wait eagerly for Damien to begin his raid escape, but then after a few moments of struggling, it seems as if he's not going to be able to break out, much less do a sick kickflip. Hey, Flaria! Damien yells from outside from underwater i can't do it you have to let me out it hurts to see your crush in pain but you know it would hurt him even more for you to betray his trust no seriously forget everything i said before stop the trick and free me flaria you have to papaya not the safe word i'm gonna change my safe word right to back. papaya bro. oh that sounds like an interesting oh poor damien you think but since two of you Never establish a safe for papaya or otherwise, none of this matters. God damn it, free me right now this fucking second, or I'm going to fucking drown you, heartless bastard. I will never <laughs> forgive you for this, Flaria. At this point, it's pretty clear that Damien is going to drown if you don't step in. In your relief that he's no longer against the interfering, you immediately free him. And he's mad. Yep. <laughs> I'm back. Just in time, bro. Are you for real? Like, yep. Bruh. What? Why would you do that? I was almost free. I, I told, told you, you not to I help me no matter what. Get mad. I'll never forgive you for this, Flaria. Ugh, you knew you should have trusted your instincts and let him drown. And now he's mad at you. You lose two charm and one fuck. fuck. I should have let him drown. Like, I wish that was an option. Wait, like, really do you, do you let him drown? Him. Like, we really should have just chosen to not. Somebody else, somebody else, bro. No. Cause oh my gosh. Jesus! You knew where to bury it. Mine was gonna be papaya, bro. Papaya. Mine is actually strawberry. Strawberry? Well, you know mine was pineapples, but. <laughs> I mean, I don't eat strawberry, so like that's that's my safe word. Do you not like strawberries? It's a consistency thing. It, Got it, you. I feel yeah. that. So anytime somebody wants to complain about me and bananas, like. <laughs> it's I mean, a... it's also the acidity of like. I can't do a lot of things with the city, so true, like, true. start it, yeah. That day, there's a guest speaker at the Monster Scouts HQ. She's a Were Eagle Monster Scout, here to tell you all about advancing through the levels. Why are we doing this shit and we're in our 20s? Like, somebody explain that to That's me. That's what I want to know. Her speech is surprisingly interesting. She started out at Camp Spooky, just like you, and worked super hard to earn every single batch. She also hints at some possible foul play, including her murdering a higher level scout, Jesus, and wearing her skin as a disguise. Oh my god. <laughs> and wearing her skin as a disguise in order to advance through the ranks. Jesus. Sure is inspiring. You're too busy flirting with your friends to dedicate that kind of time to monster scouts. But still, her speech still her speech instills you with two criteria. Here we go. Who we got? We got double Nemo oh, and an Azorial. <laughs> I feel bad for Nemo because he Yo, is bro, Nemo head. is a star today, okay? He's a whole star today. The counselors had the poor judgment to leave you alone with Damien, Milo, and Aravi 
a Ravi Hex, and a whole bunch of macaroni. Mm. Milo's using the macaroni for his intended purpose, painting a selfie while Hex is eating it raw because Hex is weird. Uh, Damien is trying to kill it, and Aravi is looking up its stats online. I'm sorry, what? Oh, it's the fucking oh, it's counselor again. <laughs> macaroni? That won't help at all in a bear attack. What the fuck? We all have that same. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. This, yes. yeah. That's right, campers. It is I, your delightful and overbearing tiger coach, here to teach you yet another lesson about bear avoidance. Remember, there's no bee in bear. Except when there is. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I, coach, say all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, coach. Let's get this over with. What's today's bear lesson? You just ha! I fooled you. It was me, Counselor Flodge, this whole time. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, Even when you said it's I, your delightful and overbearing tiger coach? Especially then, I am never more myself than when I'm in disguise. Hello, oh, have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> the camouflage oh, skills are out of this world, Counselor Flodge. I have so much to learn from you about this subtle art. He goes voice. <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> Avari, you have a lot to learn from a basket of hand grenades. <laughs> <laughs> basket of hand grenades? Where? I'm going to I'm going to a gift exchange later and I want to bring something that represents uh -huh. my personality. You kids are getting a little far from the point. Probably because I camouflage it so effectively. And what exactly is the point then? The point is that everything Coach has told you about bears is a load of horse hooey. <laughs> you shouldn't be afraid of bears. You should be learning from them. And as I'm sure you know, Bears are the only animals more skilled than chameleons in the art of camouflage. One of you could be a bear right now, and the rest of us, and the rest of you wouldn't even know. In fact, one of you is! That's right, I secretly replaced one of you with a bear while no one was looking to teach oh, you a valuable lesson about the art of disguise. I don't have time for this ridiculous charade. I'm supposed to be serving looks at the soup kitchen right now. Ooh, Poor people on, uh. deserve spiritual nourishment oh, too. <laughs> it's Milo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just gonna say, Milo's definitely a bear. Obviously. Nice. <laughs> Who else just showed up here at camp during the summer despite never having been around us? Yeah. That is true. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, well, you. Nemo. No one. Why? <laughs> and I will haunt anyone who disagrees with me. Not <laughs> 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 Oh, geez, this is getting kind of heated. You're pretty sure Milo's not a bear the way that they're way too hairless. But what can you say that'll prove it to the others? No look, Milo's verified on Instagram. That process is especially designed to ensure that your favorite eSubs aren't secret bears or... So what if it's, they're a bear? We're all monsters, right? Shouldn't we accept Milo for who they are regardless of species? I'm sorry, what? I am... Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. I don't know what to say about this about this game anymore because I'm like we would <laughs> obviously say the first one, but at the same time, where the fuck did the second answer come from and why did that feel like they would work? I'm gonna do it. Them yeah. negatives again. <laughs> oh, you, you step between yo. And we're, you know what, guys? The worst ending is still an ending. <laughs> you step Damn. between Milo and the others to deliver a heartfelt speech about the importance of loving all Earth's creatures, no matter how willy and murderous. Oh, yeah. Wow. That speech really touched my heart. And not in the fatal outside the chess way. I'm used to 
I'm the way I'm used to touching hearts. You did it like emotionally. Am I saying that right? Yeah, who doesn't know what the word emotionally means? Oof. <laughs> yeah, Flaria. You really use your voice and words to create and transmit ideas. Hold on. Something's not right here. You mean the fact that everyone's so used to Damien's psychotic violence <laughs> that nobody even cares that he's talking about ripping out people's hearts? No, no, it's about what Flair is wow. saying. Wow! Exactly kind of Why? I am screaming. <laughs> I am literally screaming. Oh shit, you're right. I've never realized how bear-like Flair is until just now. Bear-like? Fuck you! <laughs> Come to think of it, she's bipedal, but able to walk on all fours if necessary. Hello? I mean, Just you need me like to get into bear. doggy style, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate that position, I'm let you know for right now. <laughs> and I totally saw her enjoy some delicious salmon. You right. Shishimi the other That's day. Salmon is fire. Her. Okay. You know who else likes salmon sashimi? <laughs> California. <laughs> Is that right, Azario? <laughs> <That's damn. laughs> yes, but also bears. Nice. Well, whether she's a rogue bear or an escaped Californian, I think we all can agree that she deserves to be chased. What the fuck? The point is, God damn. What the point fuck? Is <laughs> all right. Pointed sticks are my favorite kind of stick. <sighs> Can mine be a pointed selfie stick? <laughs> I'm a oh, I forgot. She's like a total fighter. like snob. Oh my god. Even though they're Grim Reaper. Sure. There's room for all sorts of people on a murderous bear hunt. Before you can marshal any cunning arguments to prove you're not your non bear tooth, the sticks are out and you're on the run. You eventually are able to prove that you're not a bear by getting mauled by an actual bear. <laughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> but that's not a fun way to accomplish your goals. You lose two fun in one moment. I think I'm about zero fun again. Yeah, zero fun. <laughs> right, it's kind of bad. Like, <laughs> you know what? Just throw it all on me. Because we haven't met Witch Lady, so it's probably better if we Where go she, to Witch She's Lady. not here, right? Yeah. yeah. Double Nia? Double Nia. It was either God, Double Nia or Double Yeah, Nia. the Double Nia, Devil Zorio. Let's go. You're scouring the ground for any drop s'mores or lost wallets or other fun paraphernalia you for you to take like some kind of horny young adult but instead of finding any of that you find dahlia and joy having an argument the most fun thing of all i mean wait wait before we start can we talk about the fact that miss thickums right just yeah she all thick them thick thick that's me. in booty shorts <laughs> And I got them same shorts, bro, with the pockets hanging out. I got that. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Joy, I'm ready. I've been prepping for this all day. Lay it on me, bitch. Uh, lay what now? Lay what on you? <laughs> you know what she said? Yep. The Coventus, of course. Oh, Hecate, help me. Mm. I know I'm gonna regret asking this, but what in the hell is the Coven Test, bitch? <laughs> don't act like you don't know, silly. It's you a right test camp? for me to join the Coven. I've been prepping for this harder than I've prepped for anything. I spent like 20 minutes studying. Wow, wow. Jesus Christ. Great prep work. <laughs> Uh, oh lord have mercy she's a stun bitch <laughs> dahlia i've told you a million times the coven does not work like that it does not and cannot join period coven's a small place <laughs> you almost had me there joy i know better this is the final part of the test where you test my will and resilience in the face of adversity yes ma'am you're you're seeing if I'll stay in the game by making me believe that there is no game, but I know your tricks. I won't fall for it. Mm -hmm. Oh my sweet Jesus. Damn it, I am trying to not trick you! There's no such thing as a coven test, you crazy ass demon! <laughs> 
Oh really? Then how do you Did explain this letter? letter? <laughs> <laughs> then how do you explain this letter I received stating that I've made it to the very exclusive final stage of the Coven test? What? Give me that shit. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Dahlia, you obviously wrote this letter to your damn self, you crazy ass bitch. So sorry, baby. No, uh it's totally legit. It was delivered to my tent by a magical raven this magical morning. Magical raven. Then why is it addressed to Dahlia Aquino, <laughs> but this blue babe of I all? Mean, she is a buff so, blue babe. Also, you misspelled joy, you Damn. dumb bitch. How hard is that? No, I didn't. Your name has always had a silent D. Damn, D for dick. How could that sound D? Dick. Dick. Dahlia, I'm so sick of your fucking shit. Dick. This letter is meaningless dick. and you are not taking a coven test because there is no test. <laughs> Yep, gotcha. So, is there gonna be an oral section of this test? Oh. Also, is it cool if I mark my answers in blue gift litter pen? It's the only writing utensil worthy of me. <laughs> There's no way this argument is gonna end anytime soon. Obviously, Dahlia isn't going to let go of this test thing. So, what is the true test to enter in the coven? <laughs> only three wishes can form the coven. So, in order for Dahlia to join, so one of the cart members must die, or Dahlia to become part of the coven. You must spend 30 years as a hermit far away from here. The second win. I hate that! I feel like the second one is the only one that's gonna work in the favor of joy. What you And mean? not have a piss book. But we <laughs> just we just pissed. got positive points with um I no 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 because I feel Dahlia. like Dahlia will, be a, Dahlia will be like, oh, so Okay, I can still become the coven if I do this 30 years, whereas now Joy is happy to get her out of her fucking life. Oh, uh, there Lord. we go. Joy Wait. has you in the first game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that true? Hmm. Um, yeah, totally true. I did it and so did Hope and Faith. It was difficult, but we persevered, all in the name of the coven or something. I see. You know, it honestly makes oh, so much sense. Lord. Spending 30 years as a hermit would be the perfect test of coven resilience. The coven, it, mm, the coven isn't about flagrant displays of strength and sexiness, even though we are some fine ass bitches. Mm. Though I do bring those to the table. It's about hard work and doing things no one else has the strength to do. Like living as a hermit, despite it sounding like a really stupid idea. <laughs> sure. Well then, I won't let you down, Joy. I'll be the best damn hermit this coming has ever seen. <laughs> See you in 30 years. Well, that worked out nicely. Thanks, Valeria. She got I really I mean, look at her. Look at that stance. Look at the stance. Right. Hey, what are friends for if not lying to your other friends? You enjoy spending the next couple of hours laughing and talking. Before you know it, it's almost sunrise. Hey guys, I'm back. Wow, I can't believe how young you guys look. Hello. These past three decades have been really good Hello? to you. Huh? In any event, I'm happy to report that I'm back and ready to what join the habits? coven. What? You've only been gone for seven hours tops. Are you serious? Fuck, being a <laughs> hermit is so boring. I could have sworn it was at least a decade. There's no way I can do this. I can't spend... Three whole years living in the forest and eating wood and Ugh. eating wood. Wait, Ew. wait, what kind of wood? <laughs> Hardwood. <laughs> wait, <Hey>. wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 eating wood. Why in the hell were you eating wood? Because that's what hermits do. Duh, it's like their main thing. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. 
karma. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia, are you thinking of termites? Oh, damn. I think I was. Silly me. Thanks for setting the record straight. So, if termites are the ones that eat wood, hermits are the frogs who cheat on their pig girlfriends by having a giant man stick a hand up their asses, right? What? Ooh. Oh god, no, I think Dolly made Scarmit. <laughs> <laughs> you made me to explain to her how puppet works. At least you got to spend the evening getting cozy with joy. You endure any weird sexual Muppet conversation to have that experience again. How cute. Jesus. Oh my god. Lots of oh you, you, you cute girl. I mean, you got titties, you know. You just gotta. Get my the, shoulder. The trunk in the trunk. Like, my I'm crying. My shoulder just. I can't. Um. I like Blossom Blossom Cool. <laughs> <laughs> While wandering the haunted manor, you're ambushed by a group of evil spirits. Fuck you. You put Ooh. up a good fight, but there's just too many of them, and they run away with your immortal, immortal soul. Hello? Luckily, you always to this day would come. And you replace your immortal soul with a beanie baby years ago. To foresight on your Sorry. part, you can gain two boldness. You fight like a dumpster. dumpster. Stop lying. You want no, some of my shit? I don't believe this. Good work on this. You know, good work on it. We work on it. Apparently, you can grow an ass. So, like, you just gotta work one out in the gym. You yeah. return to your tent for some alone time after all the drama, but you should have known drama would always follow you to your tent. You see Damien punching everything. All right, Nemo. Get oh your angry God. face on. Okay, and the wife beater. Fuck oh, mosquitoes. King mosquitoes! Why don't you suck the blood out of my fist? The mosquitoes, which you now realize are what Damien is actually trying to punch, seem more than happy to oblige. They swarm all over Damien's furious ants. Damn. And all over everything else, including your attractive face, which immediately gets punched by Damien? Woo! Oh, wow, wow. Oh, is someone there? My punch chance is tingling. Fuck you. Oh, my lord. Oh, it's you, Flaria. I didn't see you there because I was blinded by my rage at these stupid mosquitoes! <laughs> you know? Oh. Seriously. <laughs> I hate these little fuck buttons. They th <laughs> fuck buttons. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they think they can just come over here and steal my blood. And I didn't even know they had fists. What is it? It looks like one of them just. It looks like one of them just punch punch you in the face. And so not did. only are they stealing my blood, they're stealing my whole thing. The worst part is I can't even do anything about them. You're a single. Can't direct their miss weaving, weaving co complicate my mosquito mosquito killing machine gun because it exceeds the max number of machine guns allowed at camp. Jeez, that sounds like a miracle. Oh my lord. This oh, is America. Don't get you slipping up. <laughs> <laughs> All I have left is the stupid mosquito spray, which it turns out it's mosquito sun spray, which just made them immune to skin cancer. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Or maybe it wasn't the spray. Maybe the mosquitoes are in league with the sun. <laughs> Should have killed that solar sun with a bitch when I had the chance. Peace. Hello? Maybe okay. I can kill them by shooting blood out of my eyes or shooting harpoons out of my harpoon gun or shooting harpoons out of my eyes. Okay, yeah. Oh my lord. Oh dear, it seems like Damien's discovered an experimental new level of murderous rage. You'd, be, you'd better find a way to rid him of those mosquitoes because you're the only one who should be allowed to bite that spicy red skin. I don't know if I want Damien anymore. I'm not going to lie. Like, mm -hmm. I can steal Damien's blood back for the mosquitoes and the most ambitious heist in camp spooky history, or 
Mosquitoes can't stand the smell of lavender, citronella, and lemongrass. Replace all of Damien's blood with essential oils. Uh. Bro, these choices are getting kind of ridiculous, you know? Like, oh, I, I feel like it's not easy to please him in the slightest, and he makes very stupid fucking shit. For some reason, I, I would say the second one, though. I, I was going to say the second <laughs> one, too. Yep. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. I don't Isn't having I blood it. kind of important? You roll your eyes. If blood is so important, why isn't it called essential blood? <laughs> Both oh, part this game, fam. I'm tired. All like, right. <laughs> I have no further questions. Let's do this. With Damien's blessing, you prepare a proprietary mixture of essential oils, including lavender oil, citronella oil, and Damien's personal favorite, crude oil. Okay, you assumed you'd have a hard time actually replacing his blood, but it turns out it's really easy to find mommy blogs selling essential oil dialysis machines. Okay. Well, as you siphon your mosquito repelling mixture into Damien's veins, though, a change comes over him. You know. Oh my god. This may be the essential oils talking, but <laughs> oh vaccines are a conspiracy perpetuated by doctors who want to inject mind control chemicals into our children. What? No, what? that's not what you wanted. You just wanted to make what Damien's repulsive to mosquitoes, not to society as a whole. <laughs> Oh, stop getting so upset, you millennial. You millennial! You kids these days have... I... <laughs> with your bespoke <laughs> dinners and your gig economics, get a mortgage. Fuck you! David, you please stop this. You've got so much to live for. What a twist. <laughs> oh, oh, call, me call me Call me Karen. I can't. No, the transformation is complete. What have you done? The good news is that the mosquitoes leave Damien completely alone now that they're all on the same side. The side of spreading malaria and other infectious diseases far and wide. The less good news is that Damien will uh, never forgive uh -huh. you for doing this to him. Once he pees all the essential oils out of his system, you lose two fun and one creativity. I'm on straight zeros. Like... <laughs> Oh, Lord. oh no, my god, me. bro. That's your demon bait? Yeah, Blossom, go get your mans. Help him. That day, you decide to go scuba diving and find a treasure chest at the bottom of the lake. Whoa! You pick the lock, which is quite impressive, if you keep in mind that you're still underwater. Inside, you find over a thousand fun! Unfortunately, it wasn't. It doesn't have pockets. You can only go back to shore with two fun. Boo. When you go back, fish have eaten the rest. They're having a rave right now. Fucking fish. Oh, exactly. Fucking fish. Fucking, Fucking fish. fish. After doing whatever you were doing at the location where you were last time. You, wow, narrator. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> You're intrigued to find mm -hmm. Damien seemingly playing with a bunch of sticks. God damn. Listen, we're going to have to keep dealing with this dude, okay? Like, this is the next time we won't pick badgers. <laughs> like, we're, we're not. We're, we're definitely not. No, I'm not playing with sticks. I'm gathering sticks because I'm doing some high quality craftsmanship to transform these sticks into. Wait for it. Pointy sticks. An absolutely essential camping weapon. Well, now you, Derek, you're dating a Karen now, Eric Blossom. Holy my babe. With the V line. With the V line! <laughs> you had to note that. You had to note that. Okay, fine. I don't really need pointy sticks. I just want to use this sick ass Swiss Army knife my dad gave me for camp. Check it out. Here's a bottle opener in case we come upon a wild beer bottle haunting these woods. Okay. This attachment is a screwdriver. Like, for maybe if we get lost and we need to build a computer to use Google Maps to find our way back. And then there's a toothpick, which, check this out, it's not actually for picking teeth out of your fellow camper's mouth while they're sleeping. Wow, okay. I learned that the fun way. But my dad's told me this 
isn't just any Swiss Army knife. It's a hell Swiss Army knife. It's not from the Switzerland in Europe. It's from the Switzerland located in the third circle of hell. Okay. This is from hell. I know it has some sick secret tools that we have to discover for yourself, but I want to use them now. I'm scared. Hello. Tell me your secrets, knife. Tell me. <laughs> I've been screaming that all day, but it won't reveal them. It sucks. How do you get my mm. knife to show? How do I get the knife to show me that hidden tools? Okay. <laughs> Play truth or dare with Swiss Army knife, or just read Little Kenny Knows His Knife, the super popular children's book that became the bestseller while also increasing infant mortality by 400%. God damn, 400. Oh my god. Um, why do I hate that the second one is the right one? I, I want know. that to be the right I'm, one. I'm, watch, watch, might, watch. I, mean, I might go with the first one. You might go with the first one? Nemo, which one would you want to go with? Me personally, I would go with the second one. <sighs> I, I just don't know if one. it's the right one. We, we don't know what's right or, right or, right Wait, or wrong anymore. Second one. Oh, God. Nope. Damn, it's already had it again. <laughs> uh, the, uh, I swear, he just cannot be pleased. I don't think he can. Oh, that sounds like a great book. I'm going to order it online right now. It would be funny if either, re either response is always not going to work. Like, That's what I'm kind of thinking. Because this one is ridiculous. Look at his face, bro. Oh, my God. Here it is. Oh, Lil Kenny knows his knife by Oswald. That dude. <laughs> in order. Rauschenberger. <laughs> oh, does he say Oswald Rauschenberger? No worry. No wonder that book's title was somewhere in your brain. Oswald is your nemesis? You accidentally destroyed his entire pineapple plantation in a harebrained scheme to what else? Flirt with somebody, because that's all I do, apparently. You try to take it back and to tell Damien that he should ignore your plan since, like most of your plans, it really only had a 50-50 shot of working anyway, which we keep going the negative way, but cool beans. Mm -hmm. And book delivered. Thanks, Instadrome. Little Kenny knows his knife by Oswald R. Once upon a time. <laughs> R. <laughs> <laughs> Little Kenny was sad because his new knife was not as fun as the toy he asked for his birthday. Nice. But then he realized that the true joy of knives is not the knives themselves. Wow. But stabbing Flaria with them. Hello? Hello? Fucking Oswald turning kids into sleeper agents ready to stab you if they ever saw you? Wow. <laughs> wow. Of course, it can't really be considered an overreaction on his part since the destruction of the pineapple was the only, only one of 10 major losses he suffered. Your thoughts are interrupted by a strange feeling that can be described only as the pain of being stabbed. Oh, shit. Wow, this book is right. The true joy of knives really is stabbing Flaherty with him. I really uh, Bro, felt like my fuck? heart has grown five times. <laughs> what the fuck? And that your heart has been stabbed five times. You assure him it does not. He disagrees. Camp nurse Chupacabra stitches you up your stab wounds and saves your life. But not your two boldness and one fun. Bro, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? The guy I was supposed to like just stabbed me. Okay, at this point, he gotta go. Bro, I don't want to sit next to him at all. Let's do a uh, bottom one. Cause yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, you're intrigued with the, the sight of Milo forcing an unenthusiastic joy to try on a series of costumes in weeks. Ooh. Luckily, she rips them all off before you sit down, or else we'd have to actually show you the art of that. Wow, they were like, uh -huh. we don't want to have to animate this shit, so. Right, we don't. No thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey, fine. I see you're not interested in shallow fashionista joy, but I have lots of other ideas for your new brand. What about hardboard private investigator joy? Or, or, or hmm? manic pixie dream girl joy? 
Or, 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 sassy divorce joy. Ooh, that last one just gave me chills. Can we also just know that fucking my said hashtag slay? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Oh, the those are all dumb. Also, in order to be a divorcee, shouldn't have already been married. That's a good point. Wait, your wedding could be the plot of episode one. This coven stuff writes itself. <laughs> Milo, I literally already fucking told you. I don't need a new brand. <laughs> I don't even have a brand. The idea that my personality is merely a trademark is dehumanizing and ridiculous. You tell him, sis. You tell him, sis. Joy, you're taking this too personally. Of course, personalities are complex and beautiful, mm -hmm. but everyone still needs their own brand. You're more than anybody. Every season of The Coven requires some fresh renewal or adaptations in order to keep audience interested. Think of it as a character growth. You know, something like that. I'd rather think of it as pass. Come on. It already makes sense. <laughs> Just look at all the different brands you've had in the past seasons. Oh. Is it... Like what? Like insecure Damn. but brave Joy. Damn. Who fought to fill the shoes of previous coven leader Grace after her tragic death. What the fuck? Jesus. Or grim interdimensional survivor Joy, who used the quantum compass to hop through dimensions after the th after the herald of the longest night killed Hope. Oh Jeez. my lord. Or my personal favorite, <laughs> stoic, heartbroken Joy, oh, poor baby. who was forced to move on after Liam disappeared in episode nine, uh, until you properly broke up on good terms, you know. Okay, that was not bad. Mm, wow, you're a pretty big Coven fan, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I dabble on forms. forms, which is why you should trust me with your next brand transformation. I know Joy Johnson Johina better than you do. Damn. Actually, Marla knows Joy Johnson Johima only second best. At least that's what you're going to make them believe. What brand should Joy adopt for the next season? Oh dear lord. Mm. Relax and left alone by Milo Joy or Exubian. Now I kinda wanna I kinda wanna say on uh Milo's good side. I'm sorry, dear. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is weird because it's just like I want to stay uh, on Milo's good side. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> no way. Um, what? That makes no sense at all. I'm a force of light and good in the world. My so brand thick, 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 thick doesn't... with the multiple C's, exactly. <laughs> My brand doesn't include dancing. Which is what will make, make it so unexpected. Yes. Oh, just such a spicy and vibrant variety of dance, you know? It'll be the perfect obstacle for the normally doom and gloom joy to overcome. <laughs> Y'all always suck about this. Okay. She thick. Look at her. Yes, bro. I got them same short shorts. Hey, just because I wear a lot of black and sing in a screamo band so and constantly <laughs> worry that the world away. is about hey, to one end. cosplay away. You right? Look at the cosplay mm -hmm. thing right here. Please. Joy cosplay away. <laughs> Does not mean I'm doom and gloom. I think that wouldn't be hard, Zoro. I just have to get some black tights. I got a crop top like that. Cop. I got the shorts. Let's go. Y'all, mm. y'all to do hip the cosplays. Yes. Oh my goddess. Maybe it does. Oop. We should get you a salsa costume right away. Okay. I'll get my edible arrangements guy to make you a fruit hat <laughs> before you can even say <laughs> <"Ow."> <laughs> Ow. Ow. 
No, Milo, I'm serious. I cannot and do not want to dance. Oh, push. Don't be silly. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I'll be posh about it. You can dance. Remember what the esteemed boss Ro Bob Ross always said. Dang. Talent is a pursued interest. Anything you can practice, you can do. Also, you got to beat the devil out of it. You're right. Damn. <laughs> I do understand we're on a time crunch, though. Showbiz waits for no one. Mm. I'll sign us up for salsa classes immediately. Tell me, who sounds more like a confident teacher to you? Camilla, Crazy Fee Fernandez, or Loco Lorenzo, the Saucy Siete? <laughs> I'm dead. Bye. Goodbye. Bro, easy, I'm it's telling nice. you. I'm like, Blossom a toy you make it sound terrible, but I want that. Can I be skinny? Like, I'm tired of being fat. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, great idea, Joy. Divide and conquer. <laughs> you go start practicing your steps and your twirls, and I'll go make headway on the costume. Mm. Oh. You stay here and work with me, Flaria, since this was your brilliant idea. Okay. Tell me, do you envision Joy wearing a blood orange mini dress? Ooh. Or a beaded bralette? Ooh. Oh. You can certainly envision one undead hottie wearing those outfits. But it isn't but joy. It is joy. You're right. It's not joy. This is giving you mm. lots of ideas for a sexy Tira de los Muertos. Yes. You spend yeah, the evening helping Milo brainstorm social joy ideas. It's not going. It's not gonna go anywhere, of course. But when has any? When has that ever been the point? You're right. When has it been the point? Oh hey. Lord, you got to another. Take a gamble, bro. Oh, my skills is trash. On this fucking, so. Yeah, my skills is trash. I'm not even. I'm not. I can, I can't see them, and I know my skills is trash. <laughs> Weekend arrives, and so it's time to visit Juan, the small magical Latino cat. Oh, he's Latino. I've been giving the wrong accent. Mm -mm. <laughs> you better. Come on. Look, mira, look who's here. Welcome to my bar. Oh my <laughs> really, I don't know who in their right mind would take such a risk. Such a risk. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have more thirst than common sense. Anyway, <laughs> check this drink out. I'm sorry, what? A protein, a protein. protein shake? <laughs> but it's just fun. Quite a feeling, oh. huh? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? I also have this mystery box. Because at this point, who knows what you drink, huh? I don't want you to take that protein shake. This is the time when I actually say take the box. You drunk uh, a ski mask before, so what's the worst thing you can get in this mystery box? Take the mystery box. box. Oh, okay. <laughs> <A> mosquito. <laughs> the wow. mystery box so bold of you. You know, don't listen to me no more. <laughs> <laughs> but that bro that protein shake didn't look much better. It didn't, bro. I was gonna eat a bug regardless. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. Hey, yo. A mosquito. A good old mosquito. It's not a drink. It's a. It's just a magical mosquito that will drain oh your high as that! Ah! I <laughs> am fucking dead. Oh, it's going to redistribute it. Okay. But when hey, it's okay. finally in your stomach, it will dissolve and distribute what is absorbed between the rest of your stats. You might feel some tickles in your tummy. Well, I can't because yeah, you can't even. Anyway. Yeah, you don't, even, don't know. even know what it is. <laughs> this is the part where I leave you before you puke all over me. Ah, choo! Hey, good shit, Juan. Juan. Oh, oh God, yo, bro, this game is brutal. Like hey, this one is way more brutal than the other one. This camp sucks. We gotta go to a new right, camp. We gotta go somewhere else. Oh, God. Cause goddamn. Damn. We gotta get out. <laughs> we gotta get out. We gotta get the fuck out of up. here. That day you get lost in the woods. You decide to study the trees, box, and moss patterns to solve the situation. By reading one tree's bark, you realize which direction north is. By reading another tree's bark, you learn the exact age of the tree, 73 years old. By reading another tree's bark, you learn that the tree likes Irish Good poetry ending. and believes Buffy and Sp Spike were the ultimate ship. Buffy and Spike were not the ultimate ship, okay? 
I didn't think nah. Buffy deserved to be with either Angel or Spike, okay? Angel. That's my hot take. Angel. No, it was Angel. Come on. No, nah, because Let's Angel treated her like shit for how long? Angel treated her like shit, and Spike technically treated her like shit too, and then he had this reawakening. That's Spike. Spike grew a fucking conscious. Well, suck my dick, bro. But it, was, <laughs> like, it, was, really. but it was Angel the whole time. Come on. <laughs> yeah, if I had to choose between Angel and, and Spike, I'd choose Angel. <laughs> like, everybody know the real answer. <laughs> Whoa, so much useless knowledge. You gain two smarts. You meet up with Damien to help him with what he claims is a charitable endeavor. All right, come stab me again, Nemo. <laughs> Hi, MJ. I believe that all living creatures, great and small, deserve a fighting chance at life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The expansion pack for um, the first game is because I already own it. Easy. But I appreciate you. That's why I've been making these tiny magnifying glasses to give to ants. Now they can fight fire with fire if anyone ever tries to use a magnifying glass to fuck with them. I've brought them the gift of flame like Ant Prometheus. Oh my god. What's this? Who the hell? And you know what happens to, to Prometheus, don't you? Yeah, he was worshipped as a hero and the inventor of the greatest of all art forms, arson. No, he was chained to a rock. <laughs> In a sexy way. <laughs> In a sexy way? <laughs> no, in a horrifying torture where his liver was eaten every day away. But I assure you, your punishment will be much worse. Oh lord. What? Why can't the rest of Miss Weaving? I feel like I'm actually being re reasonably good compared to my classic bad boy ethics. I don't know what sort of behavior is tolerated at Spooky High, but this is Camp Spooky, and I am going to hold you to my standards. You think it's an accomplishment to tone down the arson while encouraging it in ants? No, 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 Mr. LeVay. You may be in high school, but they're in their 20s, bro. What? Okay. <laughs> I don't get that one. I don't get I that it. one. He's definitely a year younger than me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you are literally a legal adult. See? See? And it's time for you to face consequences for your actions. But... That isn't what my face is made for. It doesn't want to face responsibilities. It wants to face shenanigans and knife crime and being a badass. Mm. Well, until your faith learns to behave, I'm afraid I'm going to have to confiscate it from you. Hello? Oh, Wait, shit. did you see her, her face? face. <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> ha, you can't do that. In fact, I'd see you try. Oh. Ah! Damn. Straight Scarlet wished his ass. Who <laughs> said one mouth? <laughs> oh one my face. god. <laughs> Have a nice day, Mr. Levin. I hope you learn a valuable lesson about what faces are for. How are you still talking to me? What Telepathic. the fuck? What the fuck? How did she huh? do that? How am I talking? Yeah, how I don't talking? have a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> So Damien is understandably freaking out, but with no way to get his face back. The best way to come to his rescue is to convince him that this is a good thing. Here we go. You know what the best poker face is? No face, or no more face, no more dentists. Okay, I have to go. Um, no I'm worries. Thank no you. worries. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. See you later. See you. Hmm. All right, let's just, I don't know. Well, don't listen to me. But he can't, he wouldn't be able to see the cards either. But I mean, uh, no face, no dentist. Know. I'm gonna go with no face, no dentist. Nope. I don't, I, I have a no. strong suspicion that no. none of these work. No. Right. This is not my face. No. Oh. Because I still have teeth. I can feel them. I can feel my teeth. I don't even think I 
could feel my teeth before, but now I can feel my teeth. Oh fuck, oh fuck. I can feel my teeth <laughs> and the trap behind my skin and the pulse, pulsing meat prison. They're all in meat jail and I'm the meat jailer. <laughs> Oh, I oh think I can God. hear their thoughts. Do teeth <laughs> even have thoughts? It sounds like they're thinking. Teeth, 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 teeth. <laughs> also, it's freaking me out that I'm freaking out. And I can't show how hard I'm freaking out without my face. I don't have... I don't have... Can you help me? You pull out a shot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Where was yeah, I? This is amazing. <laughs> All right. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Come on, you. Nope. God. You gotta be like, God. Right. What's this now, Mr. LeVay? Could you not last a mere 10 minutes? with no face before spiraling into existential meltdown. My, 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 how em embarrassing. <laughs> I wanted I you it. to behave like an adult, but I see now that you were not. Despite what the rumors say, not only are you not a spicy red adult, you're not even a spicy red baby. You're a mere red toddler at best. I'll give you your face back so I can see your devastated reaction to that sick burn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks quite strange. I don't know if putting this face on you is a good idea to begin with. It's because you put it upside down! Fix my face! <laughs> oh, did I? Let me see. <laughs> no, it still looks weird to me, young rascal. I suspect there's no fixing it. I do not much care for this sight, so I'm leaving. Uh, oh, flat. This double sick burn is too much for Damien to handle. It's so effective that you even get a bit burnt by proxy losing two charm and one fun. Bro, it doesn't matter because my stats are zero. Like, <laughs> we are chilling okay. for now. All right, where do we want to go for the last bit, peeps? Uh, Let's go back to the woods. During your hike throughout the woods, you find a baby bird that's fallen out of his nest. Aw, you nurse him back to health with some delicious trail mix. You also give him some great advice on puberty and how to do his taxes. Ayo, that's what we really want in the American education system, please, okay? We need a fucking economics class that we take in high school and shit to learn about money, you know? And home ec. Not just like... <laughs> Not not just yeah, like it should be a, the whole the whole year, bro. Just like every, all year round, just one year of ec like maybe a senior year economics, so that it makes so that money makes sense when you're a fucking adult. Exactly. Then the mama bird finds you, sh and she is pissed that you're holding her baby. She tries to peck your eyes out, but you fight her off. You've learned an important lesson today: don't fuck with birds. You gain two smarts. I mean, don't fuck with birds, bro. Birds are boring. Um, ah, uh, uh, damn, Fuck. double Nemo again. <laughs> Triple, actually. Triple Nemo. <laughs> Triple Nemo. Huh. Later, you're hanging out with Aravi and David, David in the woods. You're helping the two of them settle a bet. Damien, you're about to get fucking wrecked. I can for sure headbutt a tree better than you can. Okay. And I'm going to do it right now to mm -hmm. prove it. Mm -hmm. Fucking bullshit. Aravi, my tree head butts are 10 billion times stronger than yours. Let's fucking you settle this. <laughs> All right. Let's oh, make this a clean sorry. tree head butting contest, you two. Ooh. Standard rules. Biggest trunk creator wins. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. On my count. 
A three. A two. Not the, 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 the fucking owl from the Tootsie Pops. <laughs> from the Tootsie Pops. <laughs> How many licks? <laughs> Oh, okay. the... <clears throat> ah! oh, hello. Look who wanders through my forests. A crowd of plump, delicious, fresh children. Mm. Hello, children. Oh, no. It's that old witch who lives in the woods. The Baba, ya the Baba Yaga. Yaga. Yo. Yaga! <laughs> To be quite honest, oh, she's God. annoying as hell, and everybody knows it. <laughs> hey, shut up. Don't you know it's rude to interrupt a tree headbutt contest? Now my full head velocity is going to be thrown off by like 0 0.002 milliseconds. <laughs> yeah, tell us what you want. Leave us alone or put your forehead through a fucking tree trunk. Damn. Yeah. You guys. Quick side no. <laughs> I'm the only one who noticed that the Baba Yaga smells so <laughs> much like soup. <laughs> the soup smell is overwhelming me right now. I can't get over it. Ooh. Ah, I'm so very sorry. The Baba Yaga did not mean to interrupt you tasty children. <laughs> It's just that I am in need of a big, strong child to help me with a chore. You see my Do house? Not go to this woman's house. <laughs> Baba Yaga points big into house. the forest. Yep, her house is like 40 feet away. It's standing on chicken legs. It's super creepy and it smells like children parmesan. You see, children, the Baba Yaga's oven is broken. I need a toothsome, savory child to climb inside and fix it. But there's only one. There's only room for um, one child. Which one of you will uh, help me? Whoa! Your oven's broken. I'll help you, even though you're a super weird old lady that sits <laughs> in a bowl. Is that a mortal You're impression? outraged. Damien's picking the f this fucking moment to start behaving like a kind, helpful boy scout who's going to do a chore for an old lady. She's obviously gonna kill eat him, bro. Like, what? No, no, no. I just love being inside ovens, Flaria. <laughs> They're warm and shit. Level up, loser. Back off, Damien. I'm helping Baba Yaga. This is a side quest if I ever seen one. Plus, you're too much of a weakling to fix an oven anyway. Fuck off. Fuck that and fuck you. I'm fixing that oven and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> yes, fight children, fight. I cannot wait to feast on the lean cursed fighter child. Or perhaps that spicy red baby. Wow, your friends are dumb. Yeah, they really are. Yep. Really I'm not gonna lie. Yep. <laughs> if they get into Baba Yaga's oven, it's painfully obvious that she's gonna cook and eat them. So figure out some way to not have that happen. Jesus Christ. Lure your fellow camper and close friend Rocco the Wear Raviolo into the woods. Mm. Or tell Baba Yaga to read your nutrition facts. Due to your unhealthy lifestyles, you could have an extremely high amount of sodium and hydrogenated fats. Damn. Oh, Lord. Hmm. Rocco the wear raviolo. Or tell her to read our nutrition facts. I don't even know at this point, bro. These choices <laughs> <look> like, <laughs> like, bro. <clears throat> yep. Suddenly you remember that you have the perfect solution to this whole Baba Yaga is gonna eat your friends problem. Last week you and Ar Aravi and Damien got super drunk and you all decided to get your respective nutri nutritional facts tattooed on your ankles. Okay, interesting tattoo. Huh? Huh? Oh, right. I sort of remember that we got tattoos on the ankles. Wait, what is my tattoo <laughs> says spicy red baby hot pot curry recipe? <laughs> You look at your tattoo and you realize, fuck, these aren't even nutritional val uh, value tables. These are recipes to cook you and your friends. <laughs> At delicious, affordable meals. Why? 
the fuck? Did we get recipes tattooed on our ankles, you guys? I forgot about this. What it has flair your bullshit? Because you guys all, all hate over me. It. I got it, bro. I got it. Like Uh I sort of remember that we were hanging out after the bars closed. You know, right after Floria threw up on me. Fuck you. I don't throw up like that. <laughs> oh yeah. And we were saying that the throw up smelled so bad that we needed a vacation and we were talking about the best places to vacation and then the worst places. <laughs> and I think I said that the worst place to vacation would would be not getting into the vacation in the first place. Like if the plane crashes on the way there. Goddamn. Oh my god. We were talking about plane crashes and I brought up how dope Lost was. And I wanted to know what what happened if our plane crashed and we had to eat the other to survive. <laughs> that's how that happened <laughs> and if we were going to eat each other we all agreed that we that we should do it with dignity and and holy shit flair suddenly it all comes back to you you were so scared to die without your dignity that you suggested that everyone get a tattoo but delicious recipe of how to cook themselves that way when you were starving to death on the snowy mountain where your plane crashed the inevitable friend eating <laughs> happens because that's a true story in case you guys didn't know <laughs> at least your final meal would be yummy god you're such a fucking idiot yeah clearly <clears throat> well children after much deliberation i decided to hello <laughs> Damn. I have decided to choose Flaria as my roast child. I shall be making bad idiot child stew. Cause that's essentially what I am. According to your recipe. Rah! Wait, lady. Did you, you just say you're gonna roast us? Mm -hmm. I thought we were just gonna fix your oven. Nope. Are you trying to eat us or something? Yep. What the actual fuck? Eating us? Not fucking cool, lady. You thought you were going to eat me? I should eat you! <laughs> oh, I won't eat you, spicy child. I'll just roast and eat Fleria. I'm trying to limit my diet to just one plump child per day. Uh -huh. Honestly, that's fine with me. Fleria was clearly trying to get us eaten by bringing Oh up my the god, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. As usual. I have fucked this Flaria is obviously up. a bad <laughs> influence and willing to stab us all in the back at the first opportunity. Flaria and then he compared me to more Judas. like Judas. Man, fuck you. <laughs> Amazing. You, your friends think you, that you are trying to get them eaten and they're super pissed at you. They leave you alone with the Baba Yaga and it takes you all afternoon to escape. You get out of the Baba Yaga's creepy house with your life, but the nauseating powerful soup stench takes its toll on you. You lose two fun and one creativity. Bro, they compare me to Judas. You can have any of them stats. I don't have, I don't, I'm broad. I'm pretty sure I have no sets. Who will be your summer love? It's not gonna be you, my nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for Milo, bro. Your I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> my best bet is Milo. My best bet is Milo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bile's gonna turn me down though. They're gonna turn me down. <laughs> ready, Azorio, to break my heart? Are you ready? No. No, no, we're good, we're good. Let's no. do it. You finally no. gather the courage to ask your beloved to watch the media shower with you. Two of us? A summer fling? The Flaria. You see, dating is like pairing wine and food. I'm like a Pinot Grigio, mm. light, refreshing. Some would say intoxicating. And it pairs greatly with shellfish. But you, hmm, are you selfish? I don't know. Aren't you more like uh, <laughs> corn dog? <laughs> and so I got my pass. I'm sure you understand, but. I really hope that one day you find your own cheap off-brand soap. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, damn. <laughs> oh, no, be rejected turns out to be Paris. 
dancing. Smoke. You put all those camouflage classes you took to the test. You cover yourself at least in a smile to go to camouflage yourself as a person who's okay. But you fool no one. Everyone sees your broken inside for the rejection. You couldn't even. <laughs> you couldn't do even this without fucking up. Congrats, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Bro. I'm tired and I still can't see my stats at the end of this shit. <laughs> oh. we, had a, we had a bad camp experience. Before we know those last, those, these weeks were gone, it felt like a hot minute and it felt like an entire lifetime. That night, as we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. It this felt like the end of something life. big. Little did we this know. This wasn't real. This, this was... <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't even get a secret ending, which makes me sad. Um, right, this wasn't real. This was pre-alpha run. Nah, right, nah, nah. we just tried this. We just tried this, bro. Yeah, okay, we we're gonna still gonna cross it off the game list because we got to the end. But now I gotta come back and fix this shit because <laughs> there's no fucking way. Oh, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older and can I can see it. How those years became the foundation of the mythology of our own lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies, sung for centuries. Wild nights became epic, treasured forever. Every kiss and every love is now a constellation we always find while gazing into the starry night. Bro, shut up. <laughs> I wonder how, miss, uh, how many years go by. Oof. I'm not reading that. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm, I'm crying, like. <laughs> We fucked up Damn, from day oh, one, like from day one, <laughs> from day one, and it was just downhill for the rest of the oh, game, God, like downhill. <laughs> so young and afraid, and so oh, ready to part. Damn, like I'm crying right now. That that hurts. Not gonna lie, that hurts just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for our, to our actors. Everybody give a round of applause to our actors. Azorio, hey. Nemo, and Nia. Shout out Y'all were Nemo amazing. Greatest. I had to do all the random ass voices. That witch voice really like broke my throat. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that that was I, couldn't get, I couldn't get my voice high enough to hit, hit that, a girl That voice. one hurt out of all of them. That one was the worst, but apparently it was the best one. That kind of hit you as well. Look, yo, Blossom, uh, bro. I, my heart hurts, but thanks. Thanks, Bobby. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go bring this party to somebody else. <laughs> oh, the only person I have up is Dayla. Am I really going to raid Dayla? Hmm, that kind of hurt. Actually, I have somebody else. I mean, you don't have to. I know, I always read out. Psychopath. Oh, no. Oh, um, Ray, Ray Dalo? Do you have somebody? Uh, Dolphino is dreamy. I don't know if you remember him. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, Cosmo is dreamy. We can go raid him. That kind of hurts you. I just Listen, my stream. I'm... Oh, you just started. You're streaming? Hold on, it yeah. has to come through first. Oh, well, there I you go. I stream at four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, look at that. So I'm just waiting yeah, for your fucking time. stream to update on my end. There it is. <laughs> look what that just said. Look at yeah. That. Look at that. It said, big. Guess who's streaming, guys? You know. <clears throat> I'm gonna play this offline to try and actually get a good ending because we can't we can't believe it the games like that. But we completed game number two of our 50 Ooh. games list. Let's go! Yes, our next game will be kindergarten. It's gonna take us more than one stream because um, I think it took me it took me a little while to finish kindergarten the first time I played it. But I don't remember any of the the, the um, <laughs> things to do. So oof. Yeah, Ayo, let go. I recommended that game. I was like, I should try that. Kindergarten? Kindergarten's yeah. great. Kindergarten 2 is even like crazier. <laughs> um, I'm it's great. So um, we'll have that planned. Um, I will 
probably not be doing another daytime stream until after my defense because things are progressing pretty quickly. Um, but that will be the next game that I play during the day. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Tomorrow we'll be playing Valorant. So let go. It's Valorant time tomorrow because I'm not playing Apex anymore. Fuck Apex. Apex is trash. <laughs> Apex is garbage. I might play Overwatch. Maybe. Depends. But we're, I'm definitely going to play Valorant for a little bit. We're going to go over to this dude. Um, in case you don't know him, um, he's pretty cool. You know, he's great great dj and shit so if y'all are in the chicago area you want to you know hire my, my dude hire my man's okay because he's great uh turning the tables he turns the tables overwatch you want to play overwatch them overwatch <laughs> we, okay we might play overwatch because blossom wants to play overwatch tomorrow you got to make sure you around sis <laughs> i haven't played overwatch with you yet so I'm looking forward to that. Guys, make sure you go uh, tell Nemo hi. You know, show Nemo some love. Lego. Oh, Boston's gonna come over the watch. Lego! Over the watch we go. Discord squad. I mean, uh, I'll see y'all in five minutes. Uh, if not, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. What time? Same time every day, baby. 9 p.m. EST. Because I never change my streaming schedule ever. Lego. Bye guys, thanks for hanging out as I got my heart broken again. Well, no, for the first time, because we, we won the first game, but I got my heart broken. I'm gonna go cry in my room. <laughs>